response to the issues and concerns that we have. BLGM is a superstar because everyone in the team really counts. Hi, 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 and good morning. Welcome to our 37th episode sa ating online kapihan sa BLGF7. Exciting ang topic natin ngayon. This is from the field, yung demand na i-discuss ito. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be discussing this Supreme Court case na nag-originate dito sa ating Region 7. Yun pong tinatawag nating NGCP, the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines versus Ophelia M. Oliva. At siguro naman ngayon kilala nyo kung sino si Ophelia M. Oliva. We are especially inviting her to shed light naman nung yung mga factual background doon na nangyayari sa Supreme Court case na yon. We are not necessarily centering doon sa mga sa decision lang, although we are se- focusing on the principles and the uh, yung yung president na naandun sa Supreme Court. But we will also be discussing yung mga navigation points, yung mga pag tayo yung napasubo sa ito o pag tayo yung pinayla ng protest ng isang taxpayer, ano yung gagawin natin? Sinong sasagot? Ano kaya? Bakit na originate itong kasong ito? Ladies and gentlemen, we are so blessed that we will be joined with us here. Yung pinaka-expert natin dito sa Region 7, no less than Miss Ophelia M. Oliva. Before we proceed, isang news that matters muna. Yung isang pasada sa mga news that matters of the week, ladies and gentlemen. The Department of Health has detected additional 100 dito sa Central Visayas. Mayroon na namang na-detect na 4 uh, additional variant ng Delta cases. All are from Lapu-Lapu daw. And we'd like, uh, this is a sad news, yung Cebu, the entire Cebu Island, Cebu province, is now placed under alert level number 4. Pagtuloy-tuloy po yung pag, uh, pa, pa, pag-increase ng cases, eh, baka naman, baka naman hindi na tayo maiahahon doon sa ating quarantine restriction na in situ. So, ingat-ingat po tayong lahat na arin pa rin si COVID at saka mayroong delta variant na nga. Hmm, kailan kaya ito matatapos? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, puntahan muna natin yung ating regional director. Eh, isa siya sa nagkakumahog na i-discuss po itong topic natin na ito. We are so fortunate na dito nag-originate sa atin yung case. Uh, and through her, his persuasion, we have the guest, uh, yung ating guest speaker nga ngayon. Ladies and gentlemen, for, your, for his welcome message muna sa ating paunang pambungad ng message, uh, let's call in our regional director. Naka-standby na ba si RD uh, Production? Ayan, sabi ko na nga ba, medyo intermittent yung... Ko- uh, internet connection natin ngayon okay uh, at the first note lang po muna we are open to yung bu- linya po namin ay bukas sa NGCP baka gusto nilang mag-join sa aming discussion kasi uh, to be fair din naman uh, although this is a decided case Supreme Court case of public records baka naman gusto nilang sasali uh, we will thresh out issues and concerns that we will also want to thresh out if not for this episode in the succeeding episodes Okay. So, ayan, habang hinihintay natin si Regional Director, wala pa yata, hindi pa yata nakapasok. Okay. okay, let's go ahead na. Okay, as I have said, we are very fortunate to have here with us yung personality na involved mismo. I'm sure by now you know who is Ophelia M. Oliva. Yung nakatitle kasi dyan sa Supreme Court case natin is NGCP versus Ophelia M. Oliva. Ladies and gentlemen, the protagonist himself no less than ang ating ba- uh, banggitan sa sa Bisaya pa uh, ang ating pinakamagaling na city treasurer retired na po ngayon connected with the Veterans Bank ang ating Mrs. Ophelia M. Oliva ma'am good morning ma'am pambungad na message naman dyan yan kawai kawai at hello sa mga fans mo ma'am yeah go ahead ma'am Ophel good morning to all personal the BLGM, especially to you, 
and also to Junan, of course, you know. Mm-hmm. So, that's true. I am physically out of the BLJF, but my heart, <laughs> no, but my heart mm-hmm. never leaves BLJF. Ma'am, I understand you are still very active with uh, the concerns of the local government unit. Uh, what government entity are you presently connected to ngayon po, Ma'am Ophel? Well, I am connected with Philippine Veterans Bank. Sana mm-hmm. magdeposito na kayong lahat. <laughs> And second is, I'm connected to consultant of, on local regeneration, Mandawis. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I may be able to get also as consultant of the municipality mm-hmm. of What that, what what division are you particularly connected with the Veterans Bank, ma'am? Doon sa operations nila? Uh, oh, uh, uh, na ako sa LGU support. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay. I have ko an ba kanang vast experience mm-hmm. sa LGU operations. So magtawag na tayo. Yeah, magtawag na tayo sa mga LGU sa Region 7, ma'am. Ilan lang yung yatang nakakilala na naandyan ka na sa Veterans Bank? Uh, so far, ang dami na bang depository LGUs diyan sa Veterans Bank ayo, ma'am? Marami naman. Uh, mm-hmm. Sa whole Philippines, marami. May nakuha na kami because when we presented the COA circular, no, nga, mm-hmm. uh, nagbalik na Veterans Bank. Mm-hmm. Na sa amin, it is a law, no, Republic mm-hmm. Act yun, na mm-hmm. Veterans Bank, it is a private commercial bank, mm-hmm. it is authorized to accept mm-hmm. government deposit. It is an authorized depository. Yeah. Yun, yeah. ng mga LGO. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what can you offer to them, ma'am, in terms of leverage yung mga uh, interest rate? Is it is it uh, advantageous to the LGO rin, ma'am, as, like, uh, as with the government financial institution? The interest rate karon is kanang quite, kanang very, very low karong interest rate mm-hmm. because being controlled by Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Ah, pandemic kasi. Ah. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. because the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Also, the interest rate on loan, very low. So, dapat mag-loan na kayo ngayon na. <laughs> So, how can they contact you, ma'am? Uh, through channels na lang, if ever. Through channels, through BLGF? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my number. Just give them my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay, this is exciting, ma'am. This is about the NGCP versus Ophelia M. Oliva case. I'm sure you know who Ophelia M. Oliva, ki, uh, Oliva is. Uh, siya po yung ang daming credentials po kasi pag ini-introduce ito si Madam Ophel. Pero ngayon... Shortcut na lang, siya po yung nanay ng ating Alta President at saka IBP President, si Atty. Regal Oliva. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the mother of uh, Atty. Regal M. Oliva, no less than Ophelia M. Oliva herself. Thank you po ma'am sa pag-unlock ng ating invitation. We will discuss the case later on. Okay, in the meantime, let's go ahead na. Naputol yata yung alam yata ng <laughs> biro-biroan namin dito kasi... Ito si Mrs. Oliva, palaban ito eh. Pag, pag nag-discuss ng, about local taxation, always in favor of the local government unit. Sabi niya, huwag kayong mag-aabogado doon sa mga taxpayers. May mga sa sarili, sariling abogado yan. So, you always side with who is paying your salary doon sa LGU. Kaya ngayon palang medyo takot ako baka kung ano yung masasabi nito sa, sa kakataas ng passion nito at saka yung kanyang love for the local revenue generation baka kung ano-ano masabi so eh, in GCP alam nyo po kung ano yung grade line ko baka naman po eh, wala pong kinalaman dito ang BLG kung ano po <laughs> nag guess natin okay anyway that is how passionate Mrs. Oliva is uh, now we have now uh, back on the lines yung ating regional director oh, balik na nag intermittent yung internet connection sana hindi yung power supply yung nawawala yung, yung internet connection lang Ladies and gentlemen, our regional director, Director Jesse Joy Joy, Dr. Lero. Good morning, Adi. Good morning, Ma'am Oliva. Welcome to uh, online kapihan. May buntag sa uh, Cebu, may buntag sa Central Visayas, may buntag sa atong uh, BLGF family. Okay? So, welcome to our 37th episode of online kapihan sa BLGF 7. Konsulta kay Atty. Tanika. So, for today's episode, this is quite interesting. Although this mm-hmm. uh, episode was uh, steamed from the query of uh, one of our treasurer in Bohol. Uh, yung treasurer natin sa Carlos P. Garcia, Bohol, yep. uh, Mr. Jimmy Lagura. So mm-hmm. yung query niya regarding taxability of NGCP. But of course, since pag-uusapan naman lang natin yung merit of the case, uh, we uh, deem it proper na inditahin talaga namin no mm-hmm. less than... Uh, Uh, yung very passionate in terms of treasury uh, operations, no other than Ma'am Oliva herself. 
So uh, aside from that, gusto ko din malaman, gusto din malaman ng mga treasurers uh, particularly in the field Uh, yung dilemma kasi thorns ng mga treasurers natin, takot sila pag mayroong mga kaso. Yeah, yeah. Kasi sa akala nila, they take that case as their own personal case. So we would like mm-hmm. to, to know from Ma'am Oliva, yung ano yung strength, uh, what, uh, ano yung pinaghuhugutan. Ba't ganun siya ka-passionate over uh, despite the odds ha? Remember, pag may kaso ka, hindi ka ka nakakatulog. Yun ang problema sa treasurer. The fact na mag-receive uh, sila ng mga somon, yeah. mga pleadings yeah, yeah, yeah. na ganun ka magbigat, yeah, yeah. uh, ganun ka uh, kakapal, so hindi na sila makakatulog. So tipa, uh, tanungin natin si Ma'am Uniba, uh, ano yung, uh, mm-hmm. yung drive niya? What keeps mm-hmm. her moving? The passion. Mm-hmm. Yung passion mm-hmm. uh, na hindi natatakot. Aside from mm-hmm. the fact that lawyer yung anak niya. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan yun eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so we encourage our treasurers and assessors, particularly in GLGF 7, to participate uh, in today's uh, discussion. Okay, Because this is really uh, our ultimate objective of this segment. Particularly, consulta kay Atty. Tanika to address and give guidance to all our treasurers and assessors as well as those key employees in the treasury and assessment services mm-hmm. uh, so that you would feel more uh, that you are competent, you are confident and capable of doing mm-hmm. your job. Okay, uh, Because through this advice segment with uh, no less than attorney Tanika, you can mm-hmm. get a heads up on potential problems before it shows up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Ni Mila, when one closes a window, So somebody will open the door. So kung ang, uh, ang COVID-19, uh, sinarado niya yung opportunity to be uh, physically around, yeah. uh, mag, magtampul-tampul tayo, we conduct physical training. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, yung online platform sa GHF7 is opening a window, a door for all of us to discuss better and to be uh, better service to everyone. So, Uh, if yep. you have uh, questions, uh, comment down to our uh, message box. Uh, Mrs. Ondiban, Attorney Tanika, will be willing, more than willing, to answer all your questions. Thank you, Torrance. Thank you, Adi. Yes, there was our original director, Director Jesse Joy Joy Doctelero. Galing lang yung saliluan kasi incidentally, we were all, the Bureau, your Bureau of Local Government Finance Regional Office Number 7 is installing Attorney Regal M. Oliva, yung anak po ng ating guest ngayon, as a uh, Kung current municipal treasurer ng Liloan Cebu He is sharing also his expertise and services to Liloan Cebu Thanks of course to our regional director, Director JC Doctor okay, as, At this early before we proceed with the discussion Tingnan na po natin yung mga nakaabang-abang dyan sa ating streaming live Yung mga early commenters dyan Yung mga nagpapagreet na dyan Kasi yung guest natin ngayon, idulo nila eh Ito yung pinafollow nila uh, Unfortunately, nag-retire na nga pa Pero sabi nga ni Ma'am Ophel, retired outside from the service but not outside of the gameplay in local treasury and assessment operations. For that, I will be joined by my co-host, si, uh, yung aming legal officer, si Pasok Sitz, para sa mga pa-shoutouts at sa mga pa-comments dyan. Good morning, ID. Good morning, attorney. And good morning, Ma'am Ophel. Yes, attorney. Um, in fact, um, they are watching this morning. Um, shout out to Attorney Regal Oliva with Mom June Ann Avilia, mm-hmm. Sir Edwin Villanueva, Miss Emma Go. Uh, nanonood sila ngayon, Torrance. Uh, they're finishing mm-hmm. up the turnover of accountability. Attorney so, Regal Oliva is watching like, right now? Yes, so, yes, Torrance. Good morning, good morning, nyo, good morning nyo. So good morning also to Mr. Renato Panoy Torrance, our Suki mm-hmm. every Monday na nanonood sa kanyang malaking-malaking TV screen. TV doon sa sala. Oh, oh, of course, screen. good morning also kay Mr. Romeo mm-hmm. Romosa Jr. watching uh, from Thailand. We also yep, have yep. Miss Julie Santos, Mr. Mm-hmm. Cesar Palma Sabas Jr. from wow. Danao. Yes, mm-hmm. we have Miss Leonor Doblas, Mr. Richie Gungub, and Madam... Um, Sion. Yes, Consolation mm-hmm. Cebu. We have Miss Lucille Bios Orlinas, Eva De Leon, Carida Donaire, Virgilia Opone from Cebu, Cebu. Mm-hmm. We also have Anne Joyce, Miss Lucila Rial sa Pepe, Arsenia Paik from LGU Lila Bohol, Miss Lucia mm-hmm. Nailon, 
Mr. Hernan Sulano, Mr. Ernesto Imbong Jr., Miss Edna Carla Arboyes, Naisa Cuevas from Alegria Cebu, Miss Rhea Romas, Miss Celine Attorney Cecilin Andrade. Yeah, good morning, Miss, Yura. Yes, Mr. Librado Elnas from Baleno Masbate, Miss Bernadette Obanyana from Santa Catalina Negros Oriental. Miss Geraldine Tan from El Nido, Palawan. Oh, hi sa mga Yan. Palawan dyan. Yan, sa Palawan. Mm -hmm. We have also Miss Geraldine Tumulak from Sugod. Sugod. Eugenia Dayag. Mr. Edsel Laguda, ang atong very Vice. active Vice na Alta Red. Officer. Yes. Miss Lirio Bantasan, ang atong active sad and top fan from Cebu nga Cebu. Mr. George Arcala from Ayungo Negros Oriental. Miss LV Manos from Larena Sikihor, Naisa Completo from Balamban Cebu, Genevieve Party from Santa Catalina Negros Oriental, Geraldine Racine Stores, good morning sa inyong lahat and to the rest na hindi ko pa na na-mention. Good morning and thank you for watching with us this Thank morning. you, the ever-blooming Miss Sit Caballero ng aming pong legal officer na nagkumas ko ngayon. Ito na. Exciting ito, ladies and gentlemen. The Supreme Court case is captioned as NGCP versus Ophelia and Moliba in her capacity as the city treasurer of Cebu City. So, i-share screen ko muna yung aking PowerPoint para naman mayroon tayong pagkasusunda na presentation. Hmm. So, I'll check muna sa production team if my screen is... Uh, no, no, no. This is not the one yet. So, negative. Ayan. So, stand by muna for our te te technical difficulties. Ayan. I-close ko muna lahat. Stand by muna. Kasi nag-dry nag run kami kanina sa aming uh, PowerPoint. Kan. Ayan. Kailangan yatang i-close lahat before we proceed with the sharing of screen para ma-refresh yung aming pag-share screen. Ayan. Is this it? The NGCP versus Ophelia Emo. How about that? Do I have the screen now? Uh, production team? Okay, wala pa rin. Paano kaya ito? Talagang nagkaka... <laughs> nakakaya sa guest natin. Ayan. Uh, How about that? Loading patons. Okay. Just, we will just run, ha? Stand by muna mga kakapihan. Okay. This uh, Supreme Court case, uh, uh, sa mga gustong babasa dyan sa kabuuan po ng ating Supreme Court case kasi what we are showing today is a digest, yung parang summary lang. So, uh, pumunto, pumupunto lang po kami kung saan yung medyo importante sa local treasury and assessment operation. So, for the information of our viewers, you can get this uh, uh, the full text of the copy of this Supreme Court case promulgated last August 10, 2016, GR numbers, cited as GR numbers, it's 213157 and GR number 213558 kasi consolidated case po kasi ito. Nag-apila uh, din po kasi si Miss Diwa Cuevas, the successor of Mrs. Uh, Ophelia M. Oliva. Do I have the screen now, production team? Negative pa rin. Negative pa rin, okay. Ayan, nagkakaproblema kanina pa ito eh. So, uh, I guess I have to refresh my screens. Ayan. Standby muna mga... How about that? Negative turn, negative. Ah, negative pa rin daw. So... Ah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Because I have an open PowerPoint na naka-full screen siya, kaya negative yung share screen. Ay, nakakahiya sa, sa global production team. Ayan, wait mo na. Wait mo na, ha? Kasi dalawa pala yung na-open. Now, finally, I have the screen now. Production team. Finally, wala pa. Wala, Giyad. Wala, Giyad. Sige. I will read through na lang. Tapos, I will attempt uh, I, I will attempt sharing my screen mamaya-maya. Mm -hmm. Sige. I will proceed na lang. Uh, we, this will just be uh, no slide presentation 
uh, discussion. Okay, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, isang malaking uh, papasalamat po sa pag-alaw. Shout out kay Atty. Regal M. Oliva sa pag-a-advise na <laughs> na paatinan yung guest natin ngayon. So, dito po muna, before we proceed, eh, lay down po muna natin yung ating mga groundworks. Okay. I understand kasi uh, kanina, I have uh, I have uh, I will attempt ha? I will attempt to share my screen ha? How about that production team? Okay na to. Meron na ay ay naka 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 okay sign as ni si Ate Akan. Finally. Finally I have my screen na. Okay. Again, this is the citation for for we encourage you to read the whole text of the Supreme Court case. This will be I I hope Uh, this will be uh, you, you will bear with that this will be a two hour episode kasi medyo mahaba-habang pag-uusapan ito not, not just the Supreme Court case but the navigating points doon na magagamit natin sa ating treasury at assessment operations and there will be I guess a uh, second part of this discussion if our guest would allow so that is the citation first I will we lay down the groundworks po muna yung sinasabi ng Supreme Court po muna doon sa dispositive portion po nila para hindi tayo malihis sa ano pong sinasabi ng Supreme Court. Tungkol sa katanungan ni Sir Jamie doon sa Arsia, so ito po yung dispositive portion sabi ng Supreme Court. The tax exemptions must be clear and unequivocal and must be directly stated in a specific legal provision. So, pag sinasabi ng taxpayer na exempted sila, sila po yung may burden to prove that they are exempt. This is because of the lifeblood doctrine kasi yung tax na yan, local tax na yan, kailangan po yan sa ating delivery of basic services. So, so paka naman yung mga exemption na yan, na yan would, uh, yung sinasabi, would distort o yung, yung parang malesen yung revenue generation effort ng ating local government. Pangalawa, ito po yung sinasabi ng Supreme Court sa decision. Dire, diretso muna po tayo doon para hindi naman magtampo yung ating uh, uh, Supreme Court at saka yung NGCP. Ha? Properties not used in connection with the NGCP's franchise kasi naka-franchise po kasi itong NGCP should be assessed and subjected to real property tax in accordance with local government code. Yung sinasabing in accordance kung ano mang yung actual use po noon. Okay. Number three. Properties, however, that are used in connection with the NGCP's franchise are exempt from tax. So, Dalawa na po yun, yung hindi connected sa in, sa franchise ng NGCP, taxable in accordance with the local government code at saka yung connected sa kanilang franchise are yun, yun lang po yung exempt. So later on, pag-usapan natin yung in PC transco kung paano na pa As I have said, this is cited as follows ito. So we know for a fact, we are very fortunate galing po sa atin itong case na ito when she was ja Uh, city treasurer of Cebu City this came to her desk and uh, ultimately uh, came to the Supreme Court and we are fortunate to have this as our guidance. Ito pong NGCP versus Ophelia M. Oliva. So walang patumpik-tumpik. Tanungin na po natin ang ating guest si Mrs. Oliva. Ma'am Ophel, I am just curious. Paano ito nag-start itong NGCP case na ito? Because as I understand from the narration of facts, Supposedly, this we are talking with NPC lang, yung National Power Corporation at saka yung Transco. Eh, how come we are talking about GDP in this case, Ma'am Ophel? Okay, so, before I discuss this case, mm-hmm. let me have my own disclaimer. Now, whatever, <laughs> I say, whatever I say, agad, 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 naunahan kami. This ha? is based mm-hmm. on my own opinion. Why labot ang BLJF? Why labot ang BLJF? So, ako lang ni, why labot ang istasyon, no? <laughs> That's my own opinion, uh, my own interpretation of what I did with the taxpayers of Cebu City. Mm-hmm. And I hope na kamusad, don't be afraid of cases. Namigay ka to, natay kaso, why? Because ang inyong pangalan mas taxpayers of Cebu City. Dapat ko lain kaso, section se- section 171, Examination of books of accounts uh, when I was in Pasay. Yeah. At a place yeah. nga akong adtuan, adyo ko yung kaso. In Dubagiti na ay kaso. Lahir itong kaso ha. Uh, and there is also one interesting case, Mama Fed. Oh, Pakabot ako si Bus City. Yeah. Kaso na sad. Oh, yeah, the, the amusement tax case, Mama Fed. Huh? 
Remember that amusement tax case that you have filed and appeal also? Yung, yung, yung kay Senator Revelia na yung yes. amusement tax, pinalower, uh, uh, share. So, yeah, ang, na, nasa Supreme Court pa rin yun. Abangan natin yun. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Ma'am Ophel, you were saying na do not be afraid if mayroong kasong ganito kasi for all we know, tayo mga local treasurers yung may alam kung paano sasagutin because the lawyers, although they are technical as to the pleadings, would not know the facts and circumstances around the case. Uh, can you elaborate on that, Mrs. Oliva? That's true, Hanga. Ang treasurers and assessors must you can discuss the case based on the merits and the facts no, of the case. Mm -hmm. So, kanang mga lawyers, nga mga hire mo lawyers, kawa pa makibaw, unsay nang hitabo, unsay procedure, unsay mm -hmm. ka na bang mauning imong inyong giingon na points of navigation. Kanang mm -hmm. unsaon ni mo pagdaang boat or the ship or the vessel, unsaon ni mo pagdaang train, otherwise maderail mo, o mm -hmm. unsay mga hitabo. So, mm -hmm. mahimo man nga mo consult mo og lawyer, mm -hmm. just like me, I consult with my son, my son mm -hmm. also consult with me. Why? Mm -hmm. Because don't get offended na I am more knowledgeable kay than these lawyers. Na they <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The water okay. cannot rise beyond its source. Attorney Rigal Emoliva, pasensya na po. Eh, hindi pasensya po namin pasensya. kayo bigyan ng, ng time slot para mag-rebat doon sa nisinasabi ng ni Mrs. Oh, Oliva. So pasensya. for the interest of time, hayaan na lang po nating sabihin na mas magaling siya sa inyo. Go ahead Mrs. Oliva. Okay, so anyway, ako gining balik-balik ko, treasurers, please, no? O gusto mo nga mudako ang inyong revenue, especially mm -hmm. from real, from local revenues, ha? Is mm -hmm. ayaw mong kahadlok sa kaso. Di yep, yep. ka mo'y prisohon o mapildi ta. Ah, di ka mo'y prisohon. Because uh, ikaw, ako ang ingon versus Ophelia M. Oliva, inner of mm -hmm. capacity as city treasurer of city. Yep. So, so So in that note, ma'am. Papil kita, yeah. ah, awa, why magitabo? Kaya ang presohon ko sa nangulita kong taxes. So baw na nga. Yeah. I'd like to address the... Yeah. I'd like to po kasi, uh, uh, put, yourself in the, uh, put yourself in the shoes of mga municipal treasurers, ma'am. Walang legal officer. So uh, uh, ano yung pinakagagawin nila sana? Uh, prepare ng answer or doon punta ng mayor, mag-hire ng private lawyer? Pa paano yung gagawin nila, ma'am? Ako'y gibawal, gibawal magluda sa local government units mm. na mag-hire o lawyer, no? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Pinawa ibawal ang pag-hire o consultant, no? Okay. So that's why, una, ang faltra doon na mo hindi hay mga naamoy bago di hanggi create na for kanang aid, legal, legal, legal. assistance, no? Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. the kuan magali the program of Attorney Rigal Oliva. Mm -hmm. Aside from the yeah, faltra, Vice President, Vice President, President of Faltra. Hindi man silang magpatulong mm -hmm. sa BLGF. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. Ako, I am ready good to help you. Just hmm. call me and I will be there. Ang ako yun, di ba? And, ako na ninyo, yeah. ha? 24-7, I am still at your service, treasurers and assessors. And I can imagine, Atty. Regal Oliva now saying, ano na naman yung pinagsasabi niya? Ipapahamak na naman, ipapasubo na ako niyan. Sabi niya, I am ready to help, but, pero ipapasa na naman sa akin. Tama po ako, ma'am? <laughs> Peace training. Kay ako, <laughs> believe gay mo ni Atty. Regal, how much more mm. ako? And oh. then, uh, successful siya, I am more than successful. Uh. Because, mo nagiingon na, the apple will not fall far from the tree. Uh. Uh, Ardi, where is Atty. Regal in Oliva now, Ardi? Uh, because of his greatness, yung, yung, yung servisyo niya, saan na natin, uh, sinong humiram kay Atty. Regal in Oliva? Ay, humiram sa... Ngayon at, at, at this moment, Attorney Legal is in Liloan. Uh, they mm -hmm. are having the turnover with our treasury team from mm -hmm. LGF. Um, buti naman, pumayag si Attorney Oliva, nahiramin ng Liloan. So, uh -huh. congratulations to Liloan for having Attorney Oliva. And uh -huh. uh, good to note that Attorney Oliva also is extending his arm to the sister municipality of Mandawe. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, Of course, sabi ko nga ni, he's doing this for uh, in the interest of treasury uh, mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Torns, balik, 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 uh, gusto kong balikan yung point, uh, point ni... Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Ardy. Yung uh, drive. Kasi ito yung, I was from the, from the ground. 
Mm-hmm. Alam ko yung feeling ng mga treasurer, ng mga assessor na walang legal officer. Yeah, yeah. Kung walang legal Sa officer, uh, they don't know where to go. So mm-hmm. perhaps, ayun ba, wala, malayo na malayo yung uh, BLGF. So saan sila pumunta? Saan sila pumunta? Mm-hmm. Kung mag-hire sila ng lawyer, they will spend. So uh, but, uh, talking through experience, I have uh, experience also na where I'm supposed to appear in the court. Pero mm-hmm. yung legal officer namin, walang MCLT, hindi MCLT compliant. Hindi makapirma. So I, I, I go to court, sabi ko sa judge, judge, uh, our our legal officer cannot mm-hmm. represent me, can I represent myself? So, <laughs> were your pleadings accepted, Adi? Ha? Huh? Yung, yung mga answer? Uh. Sabi naman ni judge, you go, you go to your fiscal. Uh, I will uh, mm-hmm. designate. designate. your provincial prosecutor to be your lawyer. Ayan! Your representative of the LGO. So Interesting yun, point of navigation yan, RD. Uh, you, you just manifest doon sa korte na wala, for example, municipality kasi province yung, yung kinalagyan mo. Municipality, wala po kaming legal officer. So, pwede ho bang mag-designate yung court? Uh, whoever can assist me. Yun, yun, interesting yung sinasabi mo, RD. Yeah. Kasi it, was, it is not a personal uh, cause of the treasurer. So, why spend mm-hmm. for the pleadings, for yeah. the appearance of the lawyer. Yeah, yeah. So, wala naman. Sila, siya na nga yung gustong makakolekta, tapos siya pa yung nakasuhan. So, yun, napakaganda yung point mm-hmm. of view ni Ma'am Oliva na, mm-hmm. na yung drive for the treasurers. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya lang, siyempre, ang callback ba? O, kasuhan yeah, na na. May yung technicalities. Na, tapos, only to find out, ikaw na lang on the battlefield. Ay, iiwanan mm-hmm. ka na. So, yun, yun. Gusto ko malaman from Ma'am Oliva para at least she can encourage our treasurers. Maraming nag, na based from the commenters, uh, hmm. mga nag-idol ka, Ma'am Oliva. So, yeah. tingnan natin mamaya sa shout-out ni Sid. Uh, tapos, we'd like to stress, uh, Ma'am Ophel, we'd like to stress what you said, you know better than these lawyers, yung mga local treasurers, know better than these lawyers, kasi nga, uh, you you know your work better. than these lawyers do. However, the technicalities of it, yung mga pleadings, yun yung magpa-assist ng lawyers. Am I right, uh, Ma'am Ophel? Ako ang klaro ho na ang hmm. dili na words nga di come out sa kong mouth nga I know better than the lawyers. Ang gimi na ko, ah. the treasurers, <laughs> the treasurers, the people in the field. No, the, we are saying you are, we, yeah, we are, you are better than Attorney Legal in Oliva. Oh, you know uh, better the case than the lawyers. Ang lawyers, uh, sila na ang mo draft, sila na ang mo kuas mga technicalities. Yan. Ay, man ta. Especially nga, I don't get offended treasurers ha, and assessors. Especially nga treasurers in the field, kuwang yun sa kanabang communication, kanang process, how to draft, how to make. Yeah. Ha, baon ay kulang yun nato. Baon ay inyong ihatag nila as training. Ayaw na sila sige balik-balik sa taxes, kagipul okay. na sila. Oh, oh sit. Uh, yung how to how to answer, how to respond to mga court cases. Kana. Mm-hmm. I will volunteer if they want to. Okay. Oh. okay. Pag discuss okay. ko an, mag discuss ta ni ana kay Aron, bahan ay ba ang tanan nga unsa ang magtubag. Oh, kay Ilista natin yan RD, may utang na sa atin si Mrs. Oliva. He she will oh. volunteer daw helping yeah. uh, a seminar on how to respond to pleadings. Yeah. Yeah, yes ma'am Phil. Go ahead. Oh. Kay Karon God kana bang ang mga treasurers kanang what night time kanang di concentrate their time anang mm. signing of vouchers ayaw mm. uh, i-delegate ako ay delegated ang signing of vouchers di ko mo sign no mm. now ang ako is management management yung sayo gawas jud ko because money to as a gawas ang kwarta wala okay, sa suod okay. sa munisipyo wala okay, sa suod okay. sa city city hall dan diyan okay. sa Na dyan sa labas, nandun ang pera. Do not wait for walk-in taxpayers. That's why ako, I met this NGCP because I started... <laughs> Balik tayo sa NGCP, okay. The judicial and administrative remedies in the okay. collection of delinquent real property tax. So that's why nga ako... No, ma'am. Ako yeah. Talking na, about NGCP, ma'am, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, you... you... Yung, yung initial question ko, why did NGCP came into this picture? Kasi sabi nga natin, yung NPC yung pinag-usapan natin, Transco. So, you were talking about they were applying for a business permit doon sa office niyo, ma'am? Okay, kanang. Tagaan din na to sila due background. Okay, okay, okay. We have people from Luzon. Kay, mm-hmm. para makatinda ba? Even Palawan, in Mindanao. Oh. May viewers. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, mayroon. Okay. So, excuse me, unaha mo ragsaba mang imo di hating. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> wala na, wala na. Oh. Okay, now. Go ahead. Ato ni sila taga ang background, especially nga kining background ako, na ano nga ang bakit ang BLGF nag-invite nga, nag-discuss sila ang points of navigation. Yeah. Kung sa man yung points of navigation. Mm -hmm. When we talk of navigation, mm -hmm. it is a process or activity mm -hmm. of accurately ascertaining one's position. Is my position ka nang tama ba itong position ko? Tama ba itong legal basis ko in the collection mm -hmm. or in the imposition of this tax? So mauna siya ang niya and then maka-assertin na kas imong position then try to plan, start planning sa unsa may imong roadmap aron makuha na ni imong imong gihuna-huna nga yeah. I would like nga mag-increase sa real property taxes. Yeah, yeah. Don't just keep on mag-increase mo, you will increase the rates, you will increase the quote, ayaw, exercise oh. the judicial and administrative remedies. Mm -hmm. Just like nga kining in GCP, nag-exercise mm -hmm. sa remedies of a taxpayer in case yep, yep. he is not satisfied with the assessment uh, made by the assessor and mm -hmm. the assessment sa computation of real yeah. property. And to paraphrase yo ma'am sa navigate uh, ito paraphrasing na ito ha. Uh, sa navigational point, we, sto we stand firm, hindi tayo nang aaway. We stand firm on our position. Yes. Yun yung points of navigation. Hindi naman na nang aaway tayo, pero we stand firm with our conviction. Y yun yun that's po yun ma'am. Precisely, ma that's precisely mm -hmm. ito ni. Mm -hmm. Sa points of navigation, mm -hmm. we're talking to me nga baka aawayin ko ang taxpayer no. No. <laughs> my, my policy in the collection of taxes is the policy yeah. of persuasion. Yeah. Uh, if they are not persuaded Persuasion by my with charm. With charm, oh, I might add. Not persuaded by my words, baka ma-persuaded sila sa akong miniskirt. That's why I always wear miniskirt. So, another is... Uh, uh, patingin naman ang miniskirt yan mamaya. Oh, sige, and, okay. That's why, they come on curse. I will not quarrel the taxpayer. That's why... Mm -hmm. CP remains to be a friend because there this are the golden the, the, the hen that lays the golden egg yes. yung, uh, 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 and i uh, know one of the owners of ngcp is uh, also a friend big boy say of sm no? uh, okay. so baka naman we they can join us here in our discussion ma'am we are open sa ating uh, online kapihan okay, let okay. me let me finish on uh, ha Ah, sige, go ahead, go ahead. navigation, nag-discuss ninyo sa inyong invitation, mm -hmm. nagkagawas niyang uh, what are legal precedents. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you how to pronounce, kaya usually some of us here pronounce precedent. Uh -huh. That would be Ako nga, precedent. No. <laughs> sige, go ahead. So, ahead. pronunciation is mm -hmm. legal precedents. Mm -hmm. So, this legal precedents, they refer to a court decision that is considered as authority for deciding subsequent cases. Makagamit tayo itong president na ito, magamit ito sa next case because itong kaso nito has similar situations or merits aning ni ang kaso ha. So it involves identical kaso nga involving identical or similar facts or similar legal issues. So the this legal precedent, mm. no? This is also based on the doctrine of stare mm. decisis. Part of the law of the land. Mm. So, it is the doctrine of legal mm -hmm. precedent. The precedent on an issue is a collective body of judicially announced principles that a court should consider when interpreting mm -hmm. a law. So, now, on some importance and in precedent, mm -hmm. in a common law system, judges are obliged to make the ruling as consistent as reasonably. So there is, or they also observe the principle of consistency. Hindi mag-iba-iba ang kanilang desisyon because we have injected into our legal system yung mga jurisprudence, yung mga yeah, decisions, yeah. itong mga precedents. No? So yeah, 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 these decisions are not binding on the legislature. Okay. They can pass laws to override unpopular court decisions. Mm, kasi nga interpretation of the law lang ito. Oh, okay, hindi ito no, batas no, mismo. Yes. Although they, pa, they form part of the laws of the land. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. Now, uh oh, oh. So, next is, after this is, what happened if there is no legal president in a case? Mm -hmm. So, there are times, there are times, however, when a court has no precedence to rely mm -hmm. on. 
in these cases of first impression, a court may have to draw analogies to other areas of the law to justify its decision. Once decided, this decision becomes presidential. Yeah. Appellate yeah. courts typically... President. President. So, comes the... Kaya nga, okay. enter the word president. Mm. So, mm. if there are conflicting interpretations of the law, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court and other lower courts follow and resolve. Okay. okay. I'd like to remind you, ma'am, yung ating NGCP versus Ophelia M. Oliva case is yung punente natin yan, yung justice na, na gumawa sa desisyonan Yung pinakapaborito mong Supreme Court Justice, si Justice Antonio Carpio. Oh, Antonio Carpio, yes. Oh, favorite mo yan. <laughs> favorite natin lahat. <laughs> Baka sasabihin ninyo nga, na, na, na crush ako kay Justice Carpio, hindi. Sige. Ala, isali mo na ako, favorite ko rin. <laughs> Uh -oh. Pero okay. anyway, ha? And anyway. balik mo na ako sa tanong ko, ma'am. Uh, we are now clarified with what these legal precedents are. Uh, do I pronounce it right? Precedents? So, jurisprudence. Uh -huh. Ah, yung parang siya yung susundan ng mga lower courts when it comes to the same yes. issues and concerns. Dapat yes. susunod yes. yung so lower courts. But the, that does not prevent the Congress from... Uh, uh, from legislating law contrary to this legal precedents kasi nga hindi naman ito talagang batas judiciary But, mm -hmm. there are also doctrines na we have Ayan. to follow and remember mm -hmm. kaya when NGCP went to my office no, is I was asked nga bakit kami ang magbayad ng taxes sa yeah. In PC or yeah, practice. Before, bo, yeah, uh, himay, himayin muna natin, ma'am. Before you go on the further details. Yeah, yung tanong ko muna, bakit si NGCP napunta sa office nyo? Yung, yung sabi ko, they are applying for a permit. For what, ma'am? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ito muna, ha? Yeah, yeah. I will discuss with you nga, dati, mm -hmm. since 1936, itong ah. National Power Corporation or National okay. Power PC. Corporation, okay, okay. no? <laughs> Or NPC for short. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The same mm. lang yung one. Mm, 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 so, mm. ito is since 1936 upon its creation until mm. the effectivity of the local government, government code uh, before effective yan. Were they exempted, exempted or taxable? Exempted ang NPC. Uh, all local so, tax, uh, real property tax, ma'am. Yung oh, NPC. Oh, real property tax. Uh, okay, okay, take note. Before the local government code. Before the local government code. Oh. Okay, okay. We are GOCC. No? Nga, so what, uh, what is this NPC, ma'am? These are uh, generating power or distributing power? Generation, transmission, and okay. distribution. So yung transmission, distribution, generation, na, nasa kay NPC lahat yun nung una. Before the, yes, before una. this. Sa before the IPR law. Oh, before the oh, IPR law. Yes, now. Okay. Pagka... Pagka... Oh, oh, 1992, when the mm. local government took effect, yep, yep, yep. ang NPC nawalan or na-withdraw ang kanyang tax exemption. Mm, okay, okay. That is in the local government code. Yeah, yeah. The GOCCs no, lifted mm. or give, suspend ang kanilang withdrawn. Or give withdraw yeah, yeah. ang kanilang tax exemption. Mm. That's why when I was in Pasay, I immediately sent GSIS another letter okay, okay. of demand. Okay, ito muna ma'am. Can, can you see my screen ma'am? Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. How about this ma'am? You have sent NGCP a uh, notice of uh, ano to, demand. Notice of demand uh, for this amount. No. Eh, we are talking kasi about NPC. Eh, kanina sabi mo, NPC yung nag distribute nag-generate at saka okay. nag-transmit. So, how come na sila yung nasenda nitong notices of demand, ma'am? Uh, okay, so, can you see my screen, ma'am? Okay. Oh, yes, okay. yes, I saw it. Okay, okay, okay. So, let me continue, ha? Okay, so, okay. So, ngayon, in PC. Pagka hmm. 99 nito, nawala sila. Okay. So, ngayon is, the during the passage of the IPRA law, IPRA, yeah, IPRA uh, uh, ano yung Electrical Reform Act, itong IPRA. Hmm. No, okay. Mm. Now, ang IPRA is ang NPC na wala. Pinalitan ng Transco. Okay. Transco at transmission. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So pagkatapos sa Transco in 
pag uh, yung sa ipiralo mm. ang transmission para to encourage competition in the power industry. Inopen up siya, hindi lang sa NPC na. He create ang NGCP. Yeah, no. So itong National Power Corporation, nawala na yun ha? Because uh -huh. Transco ang pumalit sa kanila. However, Kaka generation generation oh. of power nasa Napocor pa rin. Yung generation. Wala nang Napocor. Transco na yun. Uh -huh. Wala nang Napocor. Uh, let me be clear about that ma'am. Yung Transco is also about generation of powers din, hindi yes. lang distribution. Yes. Ang functions okay, okay. and responsibilities of the National Power Corporation has been mm -hmm. transferred to Transco. So that's mm -hmm. why makita ninyo doon nga in PC sa aming tax declaration na pinadala ko sa uh, NGCP, makita okay. doon ang tax declaration, the owner is in PC, yan. Mar Transco. Oh. 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 So, so yan yung itatanong ko sana, ma'am. Uh, how come na si NGCP yung magbabayad? Eh, sabi natin yung tax declaration, si in PC naman yung nakalagay doon. That's a very good question, attorney. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to discuss another doctrine in law. This okay. is the doctrine of caveat emptor, meaning buyers no. beware. Or, do, do I understand this to, to mean yung due diligence sana before ako mag, uh -huh. magbili ng mga bagay-bagay? Yes. So, Kanda so ko ng due diligence? Okay, okay. Uh, ito ha mga treasurer. Hmm. Yung NGCP nagsabi sa akin, why are you collecting the hmm. taxes of NPC Transco? Hmm. Dito yun sa amin, na kami mag-start ang aming franchise, mm. naging concessional kami sa Transco mm. no, in 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. December 1, 2018, took effect December, January 15, 2009. So that's why sabi ko sa kanila, it is the policy of this office na once you will get a business permit, you must be cleared with all taxes. Yan. Now, hi, Kao, how can I give you a business Yan. permit nga wala pa kayong uh, okay. clearance from real property tax. Okay ma'am, i-clarify ko, i-emphasize ko yun ma'am. Mag-ooperate sana ng business in GCP dito sa Cebu City. However, they are yung sabi mo nga, binibili o uh, concessioner doon sa NPC. Concessioner sila. Con o concessioner. Sila Pero sa si NPC mayroong delinquency. May, may, may delinquency si NPC ng RPT. So sabi mo, Ah, uh, you must clear muna doon sa mga uh, delinquency ni NPC before you operate a business kasi concessioner ka ni NPC. Am I correct, ma'am? Yes, na ito ha. Uh, Dalawa ito. Ma'am, ma'am, ma incidentally, at least claro tayo diyan. Incidentally, papasukin ko muna yung local treasurer, municipal treasurer ng Carlos P. Garcia, ma'am. And galing sa kanya yung tanong eh. Sabi kasi niya, uh, uh, nagiging taxable sa kanya si NGCP. Supposedly exempt daw, o i-discuss pa natin. Uh, do we have Mr. Jamie Lagora of Carlos P. Garcia Production? Uh, in the meantime na nandito pa si Mrs. Oliva? Yes, attorney. Nandito Ayan. siya. Yes, Sir Jamie. Good morning, Sir Jamie. Ang ating uh, municipal treasurer ng Carlos P. Garcia. You were asking about the exemption of NGCP kasi nga, yung pambungad nating discussion, yung in relation to its franchise, exempt yung real property tax ni NGCP. However, yung hindi related ng na, sa franchise eh taxable now your question is uh, you seem to appreciate na exempt si NGCP kaso lang eh anong gagawin as treasurer eh yan yung naka assessment role sa iyo tax declaration uh, can you uh, can you restate your question again Mr. Uh, Sir Jamie for Mrs. Oliva Okay, good good morning, attorney. attorney. Yes, good morning, sir. Sir, uh, do you have video, sir, para makita naman ng ating mga viewers, makita ni Mrs. Oliva yung ating uh, live patch? Ayan, uh, uh, para uh, tayong uh, si Idol Raffi nito. Para yes, Andy? Para makita ng buong buhol at saka buong <laughs> seven. Okay? Yes, okay. yan. Pakibukas naman ng video kasi ito si Mrs. Oliva nag-scout ng mga magagaling at matitipuno na local pressure. <laughs> Ma'am Ophel, ayaw, ayaw mag-copy ng video, uh, Ma'am Ophel? Wait mo na. Ah. Ano ba to ha? Kung minyo ka rin sayo nang ipa-open. <laughs> yes, I did. First, gusto ko lang balikan while waiting for oh. for the video of Sir uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Gusto ko lang tanungin si Ma'am Ophel. So there was no conveyance uh, on the real property from NPC to Transco. Uh, I mean in 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 GCT. Yeah. Okay. As concessioner so, Ma'am Ophel, was there conveyance daw transfer? Of course. 
There was one million, million, but it was not. Uh, they did uh, not go to the assessor's office. I see. Transfer of the assets and liabilities. Ah. Okay. Supposed to be, if there was proper turnover, they could have known about the liabilities of okay. NPC. What properties are we talking about, Ma'am Ophel? Buildings, machineries, ano, ato, ano, ano. Oh, itong... Okay, okay, ta. Para okay. hindi mag, uh, ma, ma confuse ang ating listeners. Mm -hmm. I have to finish the caveat emptor. Okay. Due diligence, yeah. You could have parang conducted due diligence mm -hmm. na wala ba itong mga taxes, mga delinquent taxes. By mm -hmm. delinquent taxes, ang NPC, bar transco. From Nonetheless, they proceeded with the concession. Oh, oh, from 2001 uh -huh. to 2008. Uh -huh. Ano yung 2001 to 2008? That was when we conducted a general revision. Uh -huh. huh? So, pag general ah, okay. revision, bago ang assessment. Na Diba? I'd like to take note, Ma'am Ophel, Ipira Law is 2008, di ba? Yung sabi natin nag-concession na yung mga private, yung NGCP. Ah. So, before 2008, si NPC is exempt or taxable kasi nga, local government code. Before, before sa ah. 1992, exempt okay, ah. ng NPC. Before local government. Pag 1992, okay. hindi na sila exempted. Okay. Pero, uh, nagbabayad naman sila. No? Okay, But okay. in 2001, Okay. Yung difference sa old assessment with the general mm. revision mm. no is hindi na sila nagbayad baka bisit okay, okay. nilang ipiralo no okay. so that's okay, why okay. sabi ko sa kanila so there is a doctrine in law ha caveat emptor let the buyer beware buyer beware okay. at ito naman sang isa we have also another is caveat uh caveat venditor let the Okay what about that Caveat venditor, let the seller beware. Meaning, okay. the seller is responsible for any problem that the mm -hmm. buyer might encounter with a service or product. So in this mm -hmm. case, oh, responsible sila. Na okay. another is, sa real property taxation, ito ang very importante. Mm -hmm. Any payment made to a certain property or RPU oh. no, okay, okay. is ang payment must be applied to prior year's delinquencies. Ah, hindi sa current. Kung so, mm. magbayad ang transco, i-apply ko man yun because ang babayaran nila yung property sa dati sa NPC and transco. Okay. So, okay. pag magbayad sila, i-apply ko yan. What uh, about... Kaya, uh, kaya napasok yung issue na before yes. I grant you permit, uh, you have to clear muna doon sa mga delinquencies ng, na ng itetake over mo. Uh, for oh, lack of better make term. Make it up when John attorney hmm. no, sa lahat ng treasurer. Hmm. Na kung may magbayad, ask for clearances para wala hindi yeah. tayo magbayad. Kung ano may yung bayad na dala niya ngayon, you cannot apply that to the current payment doon sa mga prior okay. years delinquencies. Hindi pa. I will apply hmm. it to prior years delinquency. Yeah. Kaya ito, miski hindi kay NGCP itong mga liability ito, you ask for the clearing muna of delinquency kasi sabi yes. mo nga, buyers beware, caveat oh, emptor. Oh. Oh. Oh, so, so that's why, nagsabi ako sa kanila, mm -hmm. I'll be conducting an auction sale by two months from now. Baka okay. ma-auction ko itong property ng Transco. Or property yeah. ng yeah. Before you go on that judicial administrative remedies, ma'am, ito muna. Can you see my screen, ma'am, of Okay, na. You sent kasi notice of demand doon sa, sa NPC or NGCP. Which one? Kainino nyo ipanadala yung na notices of demand or delinquency? Sa, in, sa transco NPC. As kay NPC. Oh. Tapos, ka, kasi nga, sabi mo, doon sa assessment roll at saka tax declaration, yung nakapangalan doon, hindi pa na-transfer yung asset hindi na andun ba kay NPC. That's okay. why, okay. pinadala ko sa whose yeah. name appears in the tax declaration doon. na pinala ang mga... Yeah. Kaya ako nagtanong paano napasok ito si NGCP pa, kasi nga, NPC yung... Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, now, in the second bullet that I am showing to you, ma'am, sinasabi niyan, pursuant to Section 252 ng Local Government Code, nagbayad daw si NGCP. Uh, albeit under protest kasi nga uh, I don't know what the ground how, uh, but ito yung medyo medyo interesting dito sa case na uh, uh, case na ito ma'am uh, sa, sabi natin nagpayment under protest now supposedly we are talking about assessment of real property tax dito sa NJCP or NPC whoever the party that we are going to talk about now this is a uh, medyo one one instance ma'am na Yung trabaho ng assessor, sabi mo nga, naandun pa kasi sa pangalan ng NPC. Uh, trabaho ng assessor, 
Si treasurer yung magdi-decide sa protest? Is this correct, ma'am? Hindi. Hmm. Oh, uh, can you elaborate on that, ma'am? Because to differentiate, hmm. pag business taxes, is the treasurer who will decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. days from receipt of the, ah. of the, of the notice. Ah. Right? Okay. Okay. Oh, but, but it would seem that in this case, ma'am, yung prinotest ng NGCP is the payment of the real property tax. Yes. Am, am I correct? Uh, so, so, paano magkapag-decide si treasurer ng protest na yan eh, nanggaling naman yung issue doon sa assessment? Okay naman yung action sa NGCP. In fairness okay. to them, na magpunta hmm. sila sa local board of assessment appeals. Ah, ah. Uh, that, there you go. So okay, sana, okay. sana, Mm. Uh, yung ginawa nila is not to question my assessment or computation. Your computation, Sana to be clear. Ang, okay. ang puntahan nila sa local board of assessment appeal okay. is to question the assessment the assessment the assessor. Ayan, so... Maka-change, not me. Okay. But hindi so, po, hindi nga mag-change, change lang ang assessor. <laughs> so, ayaw okay. yan because assessor and treasurers are partners in progress. Yeah. Partners yeah. in so, okay. so I am always good. Babantayan ko yung assessor ko kung anong yeah. ginagawa. Uh, this is points of navigation na rin, ma'am. This is about uh, payment under protest. Kasi yun yung in ng NGCP na remedy. First na, payment under protest. So under the local government code, yan yan, section 173. So to be clear about this one, ma'am, what we are resolving in this section 173 of the local government code or El Tomba ito, is the computation, hindi yung assessment. Yeah, okay now. Ito, iklaro natin ito ha. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yung sa note, di ba, they paid under protest. Mm -hmm. Pagkatapos, nagpadala sila. At the same time, nag-exchange kami. Mm -hmm. Their notice, their kan kanilang parang mm -hmm. answer ba, yung, yung kanilang protest in writing, mm -hmm. binigay nila when I issued the official receipt for their payment, binigay, nag-protest din sila. So, okay. hindi na kami nag-antay ng 30 days. So, ganito. Ah. Ah. After that, they went to the local board of assessment appeals. So, yeah, wait mo na, ma'am. So, does that mean, yeah, dito muna, points of navigation din kasi ito. When we, when we say points of navigation, paano ba tayo a-attake? Paano, ano yung gagawin? So, nag-payment under protest sila with the end of you na mag-file sila ng appeal doon sa local board of assessment appeals. Tama ba ako, ma'am? Tama. So, have you have you decided on this protest sa kanila, ma'am? So, yung sa protest naman, nagantay lang ako because mm. uh, ang kanilang giprotest doon sa local board, ang sa akin yung collection ko, yung yeah. 11 million. Your computation. Oh, ah. yung 2001 to 2008 nga delinquency sa ah -ah. trans ko. So, in a sense, medyo... Kanilang mm -hmm sa kanilang tax due sa mm -hmm. NGCP. Mm -hmm. Now, doon mm -hmm. nila lagi, well, they did not question first yung ang ginawa sa assessor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doon nila nga i-exempt ka agad. You know, tax exemption is not automatic. Hindi. There, yeah, burden of proof. Yun. Oh, ah, exemption. Ah. There must be proof nga parang kanilang articles of incorporation, the bylaws, yeah, yeah. ang basis mm -hmm. ng exemption. Hindi po, hindi nga Oh, bang punta ka lang agad sa local board of assessment up, up Totoo, appeal. totoo. Oh. The best one is go first to the city assessor or the municipal okay, assessor. Ah. Discuss the matter with them. Pagkatapos ah. makuha mong the whole picture, the okay. whole picture is ah. doon ka na magpunta sa local board of assessment appeals. Hindi ah. pa nagsabing assessor na ay ayaw ko yang ikuan, i-change. Pag ayaw hmm. ng assessor, doon ka na sa local okay. board of assessment appeals. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, no. now, let me be, let, let, me, let, let us consult the local government code on that point, ma'am. Yung questions of assessment. Ito muna, ha? Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, do, do I have the screen now? Uh, can you see my screen, ma'am? Ma'am of Yes. Okay. Now, uh, wala, first, wala pa, wala pa. Okay, section 226 na lang. Uh, whatever uh, uh, yung nasa screen ngayon. So, I, ref I am referring to section 226 of the local government code. Sinasabi ni Ma'am Ophel, you, you go to the assessor, uh, yung, you orient yourself kung ano yung problem with the assessment. That, that, but the section 226 is uh, providing us an re a remedy. Yung, yung sinasabi na nga ni Ma'am Ophel, if you question the assessment, you go to the local board of assessment appeal. So, Dalawang points of navigation naman. First, mayroong protest to question the, the, the computation. 
Pangalawa, yung sinasabi mo ngayon about the assessment, go to the local board of assessment appeals. Uh, are, are we correct, ma'am? Ayan, ayan. Pinakita ni Mrs. Oliva. Ayan. Section 226. Now, at this uh, at this juncture, I'd like to emphasize na once the, the assessor, local assessor concerned, have sent already yung mga notice of assessment niya doon sa property na yon. wala na siyang magawa. So, kaya nga mayroong 226, punta na siya doon sa Local Board of Assessment correct. Appeals. Is that correct, correct. Mama Fel? Correct. Oh, yeah, okay. So, e, cut off muna po natin yung discussion. Uh, we will consult muna doon sa mga comments at sa mga pa-shoutouts natin sa ating mga viewers, ma'am. Okay. Can you stop sharing muna yung mga... Okay. Puntahan muna natin si Miss Sit Cavaliero para sa ating mga comment. Interesting ang discussion. Baka naman ang daming nagko-comment na ngayon na they are participating with our discussion. Go ahead, uh, Sit. Hello again, Torrance. Um, yes, very interesting ang ating topic this morning. In fact... We have overflowing shout out storms from our 124 live viewers this yeah, morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have a viewer all the way from Osaka, Japan, no oh. less than former regional director from BLGF9. We have director Tom R. Carillo. Good sir morning, Tom. sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Good morning. comment dito, Torrens. Um, sabi yeah, ni Flor de Les Ababa, sabi niya, there was a concession agreement executed between Sam Transco and NGCP. We mm -hmm. can also refer to RA 9136 or mm -hmm. the APRA law and RA 9 511. Okay. Let, so, me, um, let me stop you muna, Dijan Sid. Itanong muna. Uh, Mama Phil, concession daw, concession agreement between PISA and the uh, NJCP. Now, you were saying in our previous discussion, although there is this, this is this uh, aim na parang i-privatize yung distribution para walang monopoly, but you were saying NJCP is uh, the loan concessioner, uh, Mama Phil? There was a bidding. There was yeah, a yeah. bidding conducted. Uh, uh, and NJCP, uh, uh, siya ang nanalo. So, itanong ko sa'yo ngayon, Mama Phil, as point of navigation, yung delinquency kasi kay NPC. Mm. Uh, however, there is concession ni NGCP. So, wala na akong mahabulang iba pa. Tama ba, Mama Phil? On our part, ha? Mm -hmm. Sino ang hahabulin ko if I will give them the clearance? If I yeah, will yeah. accept NGCP. Paano mababayaran yung mga NPC oh. na yun? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so, so tama it. lang na, na hindi mo na na uh, pinaklear muna natin yung delinquency before the concession would take, would take uh, effect. Is that correct, Ma'am Ovel? Correct. Okay, so go ahead, Sid. Thank you, Torns. Um, A quick shout-out, Torns, kasi ang dami talaga yung nagpapashout-out. No? We have Miss <laughs> Leticia Cavillon. Mga mm -hmm. idol man nila si Ma'am Ovel. Si Ma'am Ovel. So, oh. Yes. Um, we have Jen Farmentera from Madridejos, Eileen Coliflores Parado from Consolacion, Glenn Balasabas from Negros Oriental, Christina Patalinhog from Tanay City, Negros Oriental, Glenn Blair de la Peña from Talibon Bohol, and also Engineer Ramel Artiaga from Talibon Bohol, Miss Welda Tejero, So Good Cebu, Bernadette Timonio from Mabina in Negros Oriental, IJ Arnedo Brioso, Maria Fe Aquiliano Dalman from Ronda Cebu, Flor de Les Ababa from Naga City Cebu, Miss Colleen Noinay from LGU Medellin Cebu, Josephine Talisayan, Winilin Duay Lungsod from Bohol, Rose Marie Villacampo, Miss Christina Merced from Dumaguete City. Good morning, ma'am. We have also Miss Emma Magdadaro, Jeneline Isling Racines from Cagayan de Oro City. Hunsuy ni Inko Iyas from Bolhoon, Cebu. E.G. Mm. Orbita. Oh, sabi niya, Torns, topic on Timberland sana, sir, next time. Ay, okay. Uh, of course, watching also today, ang usa sa nag-consider ni Ma'am Oliva as her mentor, si Miss Mare Fernandez Reyes from Cebu City. Cebu City. Ang, uh, yes, acting uh, city treasurer. We also have Miss Carmela Cabriana, atong acting assessor from Talisay City. Miss Rislen De Pelo from Ayungo Negros Oriental, Kathleen mm -hmm. Jimal from Katigbian Bohol, Delani mm -hmm. Rodimo from Toledo City, Gerald Briones from Bakong Negros Oriental, mm -hmm. greetings from Maso of LGU Madidejos, Miss Marelo Herrera, Miss Ging Morales, Yudesa Rakadag from PTO Kamsor, Mr. Oliver Hardek Cotamora from Dubai Bohol, and Torn, siguro continue na lang po later yeah. sa ato mga pa-shoutouts. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Sid. Thank you, Sid. Okay. Do I have the screen now, uh, production team? Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, Adi. So, yun na nga, nag-protest sila uh, for Section 252 kasi na, it was informed na mayroong delinquency yung mga NPC properties. So, later on, sabi ni Mrs. Oliva nga sa kanyang uh, discussion kanina, nag-file ng appeal yung NGCP doon sa Local Board of Assessment Appeals. This was uh, later on dismissed kasi nga na return to, serve, uh, return to sender itong appeal ng NGCP kasi yung main office ng NGCP nasa Quezon City hindi yata na send yung kanilang petition dito sa local board of assessment appeals now ultimately sabi ng Supreme Court nobody would know even the lawyers themselves kung saan do daw yung office ng local board of assessment of appeals so ultimately yung technicalities ng pagdismiss ng case ng NGCP doon sa appeal sa local board of assessment appeals ay senate aside trinit po yung NGCP appeal so ito na define their motions of for consideration Uh, the city assessor in his own did not object to the appeal of the NGCP doon sa local board of assessment appeals. However, the city attorney opposed. So, yun nga, the LBE ruled na medyo filed out of time, hindi nakafile ng appeal yung NGCP. It was not fine, timely appeal. Sabi ko nga, uh, yeah, this was set aside by the Supreme Court because these are pure technicalities. Sabi nga, hindi nga alam ng ibang lawyer kung saan yung local board of assessment appeals. Now, itong interest, interesting. Pagpunta doon sa Central Board of Assessment Appeals, kasi nag-appeal, na-dismiss po yung kaso doon sa Local Board of Assessment Appeals, sinasabi ng Central Board of Assessment Appeals na, ayan, the NGCP daw has legal interest in the properties of NPC and Transco. Uh, this was discussed by Mrs. Oliva. As concessioner, uh, yung conveyance doon sa properties, you, you, you as, an, as an entity taking over of the properties of NPC as concessioner, you must be beware kung mayroon bang delinquencies doon. Yung sabi ni Mrs. Oliva na kabiyak emtor. And yung pangatlong principle na sinasabi ni Mrs. Oliva, whatever payment that are supposed to be paid, you will not apply that to the current but to the prior delinquency. So, sin sabi ni Mrs. Oliva, sinong hahabulin niya pag wala na yung, uh, pag yung concession na ito nasa NGCP na? na? So, yung liability ng NPC, sinong hahabulin? Kaya nga, mayroong ganyan. So, ito, this is interesting kasi uh, sinasabi ng Central Board of Assessment Appeals, again, this is not the Supreme Court, ha? If you are seeing my screen, sinasabi ng, Supreme, uh, ng Central Board of Assessment Appeals, It is the city treasurer's duty. I was talking uh, to Mrs. Oliva on this point. The city treasurer's duty to collect real property tax based on the assessment of the city assessor. Mm, yun yung tanong ni Sir Jimmy. Uh, Sir Jimmy of Carlos P. Garcia. Of course, kung ano yung assessment role, ano yung tax declaration na sinasabi ng assessor, eh, duty ng treasurer to collect. The city assessor and not the treasurer has the power to decide whether a property is exempt from real property tax. Now, this is a Central Board of Assessment Appeals. I'd like to go back to Mrs. Oliva, Oliva on this point. Now, Ma'am Ophel? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, Adi. Go ahead, Adi. Siguro nating papasokin na si Jimmy kasi yung concern niya, hindi na yeah. kung magpabayad yung NGCP kung hindi mm -hmm. ma-change yung status ng... Uh, mm -hmm ng uh, tax from taxable to the tax declaration. Yeah. So, so sila naman on the part of the treasury yeah, yeah. Cannot, uh, or the assessor they cannot uh, kasi collect lang sila. Kasi wala mm. namang payment of taxes. Oh. Uh, yes yeah, Sir Jimmy go ahead Sir Jimmy pasok Sir Jimmy. Ano talaga Sir ba? Jimmy of Yes attorney good morning. Yes good morning Sir. Ayan. Uh, Mama Phil uh, do you see Sir Jimmy now? Okay, go ahead, Sir Jimmy. Good morning. Good morning, Sir RD. Joy Joy, good morning. Ma'am Seth, Sir Jules, and Ma'am Alfil, good morning. Good morning. Um, actually, Ma'am, last June 2, received a letter coming from NGCP requesting the cancellation of tax bill. Uh, actually, ganito kasi nangyari, Ma'am. Um, upon assumption that this year, uh, for the first three months po ng uh, collection sa RPT efficiency, Sad to say po na kami po yung pinakahuli. So ano, kami po pinakakulilat sa efficiency ng collection. So ang ginawa po natin is lahat ng property na taxable, um, sort of inventory po lahat, inventory natin lahat yung mga taxable property tapos tingnan natin sa ledger kung ano may, may bayad ba. Unfortunately, si NGCP is nasali sa mga delinquent property. Kaya ang ginawa natin, pinadalhan natin ng letters si NGCP 
Uh, kasama na yung competition na kanilang nabayaran. Hmm. Tapos in response yun, ginawa ni GCP requesting the cancellation, stating those, ano, yung mga kaso, uh, nasali ka pa doon, ma'am, kasi maraming ano, attachment eh. Apat na nexus ang attach <laughs> ni GCP dito eh. Ang kakapal ng later attorney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, magkapal ang letter Tapos, uh, ang response ko is Hindi ko i-cancel yung tax bill Kasi sa tax declaration is Nanatiling taxable yung property Yeah, yeah uh, In-inform ko na si assessor uh, regarding on this Tapos, si Provincia Tishorin po Na-inform ko na po attorney regarding on this Tapos sabi niya, i-endorse niya daw ako Kaya ano, provincial assessor regarding on this matter Yeah, sir Jimmy Let me be clarified muna uh, nagiging nasa taxable role si NGCP yes. sa record ng assessor. Tama po, tama po. May delinquency, may existing delinquency siya? Yes, mayroon po. Okay, Ma'am Ophel, uh, this is a uh, okay, we know we have a legal precedent na to follow na NGCP is exempt with regards to uh, properties related to its franchise. Eh yung mga properties not related to franchise, yun yung taxable now. This is a case uh, actual case doon sa Sa Carlos B. Garcia, ayun po yung ating uh, local treasurer, Ma'am Ofit. Uh, do, 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 will he proceed with the collection, notwithstanding na sinasabi na exempt daw si NGCP? Dapat proceed with the collection, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, Beto, Jimmy? Yeah, go ahead, Ma'am Ofit. Talk okay. to Jimmy. Uh -huh. Now, first is you go through the process, ha? Nga, do not shortcut the process. First is send them demand letters. Okay. Then the final demand letter, after the final demand letter, issue mm. them the certificate of delinquency. Because mm. when you issue the certificate of delinquency, that is now the start of the administrative okay. record, the collection of taxes. Now, uh, let me cut you off there, Ma'am Ophel. In the event na talagang yung possession ng NGCP, kasi nga uh, I, am, I am playing devil's advocate, Mama, to be fair to NGCP. We welcome NGCP ba, kung gusto nilang uh, mag-join sa ating discussion. Uh, what if they will allege na except naman yung properties na yan, kasi nga uh, this is in connection with our franchise, eh, mapapressure ba nila si Treasurer, Ma'am? Eh, yun naman po yung tax declaration okay. na nakasubmit doon. Yes, yes Ma'am, go ahead. Sa ako, ay hindi ako nila mapapressure. Iba yung mga LGUs na yan. So, mm -hmm. ito ang stand ko dito nga, you are not exempted because I cannot mm -hmm. impose yung sa Cebu City, impose ko sa Carlos, uh, Carlos Garcia. Uh, Carlos Garcia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carlos P. Garcia. Is yeah. Diopat, you must have your own decision nga itong NGCP mm -hmm. is hindi exempted because yeah, although yeah. Ni alleged sila nga they are exempted under their franchise ha? Ah. Try to read word for word sa kanilang franchise ha? Kanilang franchise <laughs> okay. is okay. nito. Uh, yeah, yeah. we will discuss that ma'am. But, but but then let's give the benefit of the doubt doon sa NGCP. Baka naman po oh, baka bu naman mga kasi mga exempt properties yung sinasayt nila doon. What, what we are going uh, what we are ang pinupunto po natin ma'am. Anong gagawin ng ng LGU? Uh, puntahan ba si assessor ipadrop yung Yung, yung uh, as assessment role? No, hindi uwag. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, go ahead, Ardy. Uh, before, before uh, no, uh, perhaps uh, yung, yung, uh, yung concern na ng NGCP na thrown to the treasurer, uh, oh, oh. siguro yun ang inactionable oh. ni treasurer. Oh, oh. Pe, kasi nasa siya na is oh, oh. uh, the treasurer oh, oh. basing oh. his... Uh, demand oh. letter based on the taxability on the tax declaration. Na so, pinasa kaya, doon. Oh. Uh, the NGCP is parking on the wrong tree or I just... Yeah, so, totoo. Kaya nga, kanina, yes, uh, sinasabi ni RD, uh, si Treasurer daw nag-base lang doon sa mga tax declaration na pinasa sa assessment role doon sa galing sa assessor. So, kaya nga, we were emphasizing kanina, Ma'am uh, when you are questioning yung protesting doon sa Treasurer, you are protesting supposedly the computation. When it comes to whether they are taxable or exempt, sino yung sasagot sana yan? Di si assessor. Tama po ba, Ma'am Ophel? Okay. Ito ha, ah. ah. ito ha, whatever ah. appears in the assessment role, yun ah. ang isyuhan nila ng individual tax declaration. Ah, okay. So, kita okay, ka okay. itong tax declaration na yan, we will send a demand letter for collection of real property tax due. Uh, so ngayon, pabalik-balik na sila nga nagpadala hmm. sila ng collection letter ayaw hmm. pa rin magbayad ng NGCP so the hmm. best thing is resort to Kuan let them question let uh, them go through the process of navigation they will go yeah. to the treasurer pay yeah. and their correct, 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 very important correct. ito ha ah, correct. very important ito okay. 
they must pay ang taxpayer like the NGCP. Ah. Hindi sila makapunta sa LBAE, Local Board of Assessment Appeals. Pag walang protest. Hindi sila magbayad payment. ng, hmm. ng uh, tax. So that is what hmm. we call payment under protest. Yeah. Yeah, yun yeah. Ang, that is an essential requirement ah. bago makakuha ng jurisdiction sa iyo ang yeah. LBAE. So, uh, uh, so, Ma'am, ma I'm... Uh, In fairness sa NGCP, yeah, in fairness sa NGCP din sa nangyari dito sa Carlos P. Garcia, baka naman nagpo-protest lang sila as a requirement for the filing of appeal later on. Uh, correct ba? Baka naman, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, nagprotest sila pero uh, oh, lagi, kung magprotest ka, bayad ka mo una. Ano ayan. Ano ba protesta mo? Nga, Sir Jimmy, you you you, 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 you take note of that, Sir Jimmy. Yes, so notwithstanding yes, kung ano yung allegation ni NGCP, uh, miski nagprotest siya, bayad muna daw. Oh. Yes. At saka yung emphasis natin, uh, you, you cannot decide whether this is this are exempt or not. Kasi yung protest yes, sa iyo, yung computation lang. Y yung sinasabi yes, ni RD, you, you follow what is uh, the work of the assessor lang. Yes, yes. Sir. Yes, Ma'am Ofel, do, do we do we now see the alignment of this requirement of the law, Ma'am Ofel? Na supposedly yung questions of exemption should be on tres, uh, trabaho ng assessor pero dito nagprotest kay treasurer do, do we see the, the alignment of the law no. mamo mm -hmm. you cannot blame the the taxpayer because mm -hmm. ang taxpayer will know his tax obligation pag magbayad na siya sa taxes niya ah, sa assessor ah, o sa yeah, treasurer's yeah. office ah. pag magbayad na siya ma'am bakit ito ma'am kadang we are supposed to be exempted so okay. i will advise the taxpayer okay so ah. Hindi mo, gi-question mo yung tax collection ko because you are not supposed to pay that much. So ano bang gusto mo? Siya, ma'am, supposed to be 10% kami because we are a special class of property. Okay, okay. Special classes. Okay, so exempted daw sila 10%, okay, hindi 40% sa industry. Ah, yeah, yeah. We will go to that, ma'am. Uh, we'll go to that. In the meantime, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, ayan, nag-overtime na tayo. Yes, Ardi, uh, mukhang overtime na tayo, Ardi. <laughs> Can we have part 2 on this one, Ardi? Para hindi, para hindi naman mag-suffer yung, yung substance or essence ng discussion. Can we have a second part if si Mrs. Oliva mapakumit natin, Ardi? Ano yun? Pakumit sa ano? Uh, part 2, Mamofil, kasi if we are going to, to, to chunk in the discussion in this, in this episode only, mukhang the, the substance of the discussion will suffer, uh, Mamofil. Attorney! Yes, Ma'am Ofel. Okay, basta kayo lang at saka sa, si Director Dr. Lero ang magsabi sa akin, maski ah. five times pa kung mag-appear dito. I think go ahead and invite for the, for the part 2 of this episode, Ardi, kasi medyo matatagalan ang discussion na ito, Ardi. Oh, alam mo, sir, we must have a part 1, part 2, part 3 because I am supposed to discuss sana yeah. para yeah. bang points by points ba? para ang treasury at saka assessor, ah, yes, yes, they will yes. understand. Mm. Yes, Hindi yes, tayo yes, pa, pa paluksuluksu, ah. pa, pa, pa bak ang bako, ah. pag yun. So, oh, oh, tama, tama, tama. 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 I can present my para bang nandoon ako sa lecture. <laughs> webinar lang ito. I can uh, present yung mga kuan ba nga bakit ta, bakit ang NGCP pumasok? Hindi namin naintindihan saan na yung NPC, saan na yung kuan yun. Okay, ma'am. Ito ko nga the predis the major players of this. Kaya nga ma'am eh. Interrupt okay. ako ng interrupt para ma ma-lay oh. down na basis muna, bu oh. bu muna sana natin yung factual circumstances but uh, the, the 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 discussion on legal that. precedence yung mga caveat importante din kasi yun ma'am eh kasi kaya nga nasigwi tayo so so for the interest of that we will have part 2 in the meantime ilalahad po muna natin yung facts of the, the case para naman yung sabi ni Mrs. Oliva Uh, merong clarity yung ating discussion. Uh, we are actually prepared for that but Mrs. Oliva is discussing important things din kasi yung mga nangyayari doon sa mga uh, concession agreement and so on. So, for the interest of yung mga viewers natin, do, do I have the screen uh, production team? Yes, okay, attorney. Can you... yes, yes. Okay, okay. Now, now uh, remember uh, Mrs. Oliva was talking about uh, uh, the, the NGCP being uh, uh, yung nag-demand si Mrs. Oliva supposedly for the liability of NPC, yung National Power Corporation, kasi concessionaire si NGCP. Now, nag-file ng protest si NGCP doon sa uh, sa collectible na 2 million yata yun, if I'm not uh, mistaken, at uh, 2.7 million. Tapos, this is uh, in consideration din na mag-file sila ng appeal doon sa Local Board of Assessment Appeals. However, the Local Board of Assessment Appeals, now, i-emphasize ko lang, yung question nila doon sa LBA tungkol sa assessment. 
Supposedly, yung question nila doon sa protest kay Mrs. Oliva as treasurer tungkol sa computation na 2.7. Supposedly, we are saying na pagpunta ng CBEA, kasi na-dismiss sa Local Board of Assessment Appeals, pagpunta ng CBEA, na ay dismiss pa rin ng CBEA. Uh, if, uh, the CBEA declared that NGCP should claim uh, kasi nagbayad si NGCP. Remember, this is payment under protest. So, binayaran ni NGCP yung liability ni NPC Transco notwithstanding na concessioner lang siya. However, si, si, si CBA sinabi dito, CBA ito ha, and the Supreme Court should claim refund ha, from the taxes due from 2001 to 2008, yung EPERA, yung nagiging concessioner na si NGCP. Now, punta tayo doon sa decision ng Supreme Court. Now, now let me take a uh, timeline po muna. Ito yung sinasabi na ni Mrs. Oliva kanina. Na noong January 15, 2009, at saka yung ito, 2009 kasi, uh, siguro ito yung mga concession. Mm -hmm. Tapos ito, emphasis ng factual antecedent doon sa CBA, nagprotest si NGCP doon sa amount. Ha? Ayan, amount ha? Uh, the taxes due from 2001 to 2008. Now, although these properties are uh, owned by NPC Transco, ito yung sabi ng CBA pa muna, ha? hindi ng Supreme Court, the subject properties are used by NGCP, which is a taxable entity engaged in the generation and transmission of electric power. Now, in-emphasize ni Mrs. Oliva kaganina, NGCP is a concessioner. So, whatever exemptions of NPC and Transco, whatever, granting, kasi pag 1991, local government code, withdrawn na po kasi yan eh. eh whatever, eh, naandyan yung NGCP as beneficial user. So, sabi ni Mrs. Oliva, eh, yung mga delinquency, dapat bayaran po muna yun. Kasi, Saan naman magkukulikta? Now, ito yung interesting. Sinabi ng Court of Tax Appeals, kasi nga, na-dismiss doon sa CBA, uh, like the CBA, they found the NGCP liable from re of real property taxes daw. Only of, uh, from the year 2009, yung nangyari na yung concession. Uh, yung Ipera yata, 2008 yata yung Ipera lo. So, so, sabi ng CTA, dapat liable lang si NGCP from 2009 onwards. Eh, yung yung NPC delinquency na yon, walang kinalaman sana si NGCP yon, di ba? Uh, kasi nga sabi natin, these properties are under the name of National Power Corporation. Eh noong 2009 na nagiging concessioner na si NGCP, pang mayroong liability man, doon lang tayo mag-start ng competition. Sabi ng Court of Tax Appeals yan. Now, Punta dito tayo, diretso ng Supreme Court uh, decision. Before we can have a part two on this one. Na? Okay, the ruling of the Supreme Court. Now, at the instance, at the initiation of our discussion for today's episode, emphasize po natin yung ruling ng Supreme Court. First, of course, hindi dapat uh, magsauli si City Treasurer kung anumang binabayad ng NGCP kasi tax daw is not a debt. So kung gustong maningil ni NGCP doon sa nabayad niya na liability, supposedly ng NPC, doon kay NPC, hindi kay treasurer. Ito, point of navigation, i-discuss natin next week. This is one ruling of the Supreme Court na sinasabi na, indirectly sinasabi na kung sino yung babayad ng tax, hindi dapat tanggihan. Diba, Mrs. Olivia? Hindi dapat tanggihan ng treasurer. Kasi nga, sinasabi nga ng Supreme Court dito, Eh, kung gusto niya mag-claim ng refund, hindi kay Mrs. Oliva, doon kay NPC. Yan, pag-uusapan natin yan next week. Now, for the interest of time, ito muna, i i eh, ayan, nagta-timeline pa ako. Hindi lang yan na, na, na discuss agad-agad uh, kasi nga, sabi natin may important points din si Mrs. Oliva na dapat i-discuss. So, ito muna yung, ma, yung dispositive portion lang muna. Ha? Again, just in response to what Sir Jimmy is saying and Mrs. Oliva is saying, nagka-timeline po ito lahat. Ayan. Eh, Hindi lang natin ma-i-discuss diretso diretso kasi may mga importanteng punto na i-discuss si Mrs. Oliva kanit. Kanina nga nagsabi siya ng what is legal precedent is, what this caveat emptor is, what this rule about delinquency is na dapat bayaran muna yung prior years before uh, uh, before yung current. So, ito muna dispositive portion ng Supreme Court, ha? Para hindi muna tayo malihis kung ano yung sinasabi ng Supreme Court. First, Tax exemptions must be clear and unequivocal. Dapat sinasabi mayroong specific legal provision doon sa batas. In the present case, yung franchise ng uh, NGCP, yun yung tinitingnan ng Supreme Court. Now, second, mayroon kasing in lieu of all taxes closed doon sa NGCP franchise. Now, 
Yun yung yun yung sinasabing uh, sinasandigan pina, uh, ng NGC pina-exempt sila. Now, sabi ng Supreme Court, na that does not grant in, actually yung in lieu of all taxes yeah, na yan, does not grant the NGCP exemption. Instead, the Supreme Court go back to the very basic principle. Taxation must be clear and unequivocal. Hindi lang na hugot lung doon sa in lieu of all taxes. Now, we are just restating na yung sinasabi ng Supreme Court muna. Ha? Kasi nga, uh, this is the dispositive portion. Ha? Ito, pinapabalik po ng Supreme Court sa CBA itong kaso na ito. However, the policies, the principles involved when it comes to local taxation, medyo final, uh, medyo mayroon na ito yung mahogo. However, the competition, pinapabalik po ng Supreme Court doon sa CBEA for the exact amount. Kasi nga, uh, sabi ng Supreme Court, uh, mayroong timeline. Now, uh, when it comes to yung refund claim ng NGCP na dapat isa uli ni Mrs. Oliva yung binabayaran ko kasi hindi naman ako sa NPC, liability naman iyon ni NPC Transco. Now, sabi ng Supreme Court, Taxes are not debts. However, yung pagbayad ni NGCP doon sa liability ni NPC made NPC the indebted to NGCP. May pagkakautang na ngayon si NPC doon kay NGCP. Now, in-apply ng, ng Supreme Court yung Civil Code. I-discuss pa rin natin yan ne next week. Now, ito. Ito yung sinasabi ko kang Mrs. Oliva. The city treasurer, just like Mr. Jimmy Lagura, is in fact, ah, Jimmy of of Carlos P. Garcia is emphasizing, is bound to accept the payment. Kasi nga sabi, trust bahu ng assessor yun eh. The treasurer would only follow what are the submitted tax declaration, ah, the listed doon sa assessment roll na taxable. The 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 treasurer, when it comes to collecting, nakokolek lang siya. Hindi siya yung nagdecide. Whether these properties are taxable or exempt, dapat doon yan kay assessor. Kaya nga, sabi ng Supreme Court, the city treasurer is bound to accept the payment of NGCP taxes due, although these are due from NPC or the Transco. Now, the remedy of NGCP din is now to demand not from the treasurer, but from the NPC. Ito pa ko kasi sinasabi natin, points of navigation. Minsan, nalilito tayo, dapat ako tatanggap ng bayad sa taong hindi naman doon nakalista doon sa taxable role, doon sa tax declaration. Now, sabi ng Supreme Court, you are bound to accept. Kasi nga, sabi sa discussion natin dito, natin dito na the treasurer's duty is to collect whatever yung pinapasa na assessment role doon sa, uh, from the assessor's office. Now, whoever pays from another may demand from the debtor. In this case, the NGCP will demand from the NPC. Now, ginagawa po natin ito para lang klaro po yung mga dispositive portion muna bago tayo malihis sa discussion. Kasi nga, we are steaming this discussion from the question of Mr. Jimmy doon sa Carlos Pai Garcia. Ang kanya po kasing dilima, anong gagawin niya? E eh, nakataxable role naman doon sa kanyang record. E eh, siya yung question ng NGCP na, na exempt sila. So, ito yung nangyayari. President ng 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 Supreme Court. We will discuss further sa ating Supreme Court decision dito sa ating NGCP case in our part two of this uh, discussion on NGCP versus Miss, Mrs. Ophelia M. Oliva. In the meantime, hingan po natin ng mga parting shots at sa mga at sa mga concurring discussion din doon sa mga ating mga nasabi ng Supreme Court. Si Mrs. Oliva yung ating guest. Ma'am Ophel. Yes. First, first, before we have Mrs. Oliva. Okay. Yes, I did. Na lang. Nakita ko yung frustrations uh, ni Ma'am mm. Oliva that she mm. is well prepared and uh, we, we, uh, yeah. passion niya mm. to discuss mm. this um, subject matter. So, yeah. uh, I in, the, in the next episode, we will we will have the discussion of Mrs. Oliva Ade. Yes. Uh, yeah. we, yung, yung content kasi ng uh, mm. yung, uh, yung concept and content ng, ng uh, online kapihan is Um, interactive, but yeah, we, yeah. Can, we can adjust for Mam Uliba. Where yes, Mam Ophel. We will in, uh, incorporate the demo environment, the presentation, and the guided mm. uh, conversation. So perhaps we will, uh, mm. we will, because there are many clamors. In fact, we reach almost 150 viewers. Yeah. Uh, oh, face to face uh, training lang sana ito, uh, ito RD, di ba? Ang dami sa sana mas share ni Mrs. Oliva. Oh. Yes. So, eh. Perhaps instead of having a part of a type na discussion banter, we will let Mrs. Oliva, yeah. Siguro, Torrance, we can have Mrs. Oliva for a webinar. So, 
para uh, talaga yung uh, yung magiging content will be pure yeah. game. Yeah. Pamofel. Environment It, and yeah. the presentation and the guiding conversation coming yeah. from Mamuliba. Kasi yeah. nakita ko yung frustration sa yeah. sa Totoo. sa ni Mamuliba. Very passionate yan si Mrs. Oliva. Oh, talagang handang-handa siya. So, Mamuliba, we will discuss with the the team, with the production yeah. team on whether we will have is part 2 or webinar. Webinar. Webinar uh, na mismo. Oh. We also webinar oh. and naka-live sa FB. Hmm. So, if it yeah. is all right with you. Mama Ofel, kasi forgive us. For, yeah, forgive us with the format kasi Mama Ofel, kapihan kasi parang banter-banter, hindi yung tipong discussion type na na diretsong webinar but uh, the the director is giving you an option na we will might, we might have a webinar on this uh, topic ma'am Ovel yeah tama yung kay yung suggestion ni ko at director kay you know what hmm. itong nakinig sa atin bago nila ito ano hmm. itong ingestive ano itong epiralo yeah, yeah. that's why it has to be discussed thoroughly nga para hmm. bang Bangkuan. I know nga ito ang format sa kapihan ng BLGF maganda hmm. yun but Hmm. Kung kapihan man gani, may idea na sila of what will be yeah, yeah. sa kapihan. Buto. But in this Buto. case, nag-attend sila because they want to know, just like itong sa Bohol, yeah. no? Because oh, next si time, <laughs> I will not only discuss the Cebu City case, I mm. will discuss the Butuan City, the Agusan del Sur, the Kamarin okay. del Sur. Yun okay. ang mga, and that's why, yun ang gagawin ng mga treasurer. Mm. Just rely on... Anong anong sasabihin ng BLJF? Anong sasabihin ng mayor? Yeah. No, you have to be resourceful. You have to be creative. You have to read, read mm. and read. Yun ang sabi nga, continuing professional education. Mm. Do not be contented with being a treasurer. Sometimes act like a city assessor. Yun mm. ang ginagawa ko. Binabantayan ko yung pag-i-exempt ni sa assessor. Ito talagang sila na... Ito, uh, ito mga... Ofel, nakatawa si Sir Jimmy. Sir Jimmy, have you responded to the protest of NGCP? Yes, Wala yes, yes. Wala pa bang yes. protest? Yeah, nag-protest na... Yung, yung, yung letter lang for attorney. Ano kayo pa? No, no you, you said you just referred it to the provincial assessor, but then the protest is filed in your office. Have you responded to the protest? No, no pa, attorney. No, wala, wala pa. Wala so, pa can you take point? Yeah, yes, Mama Phil? Yes, Mama Phil? Wala pa siyang protest, attorney. Hmm. Sir Jimmy, may protest na ba or wala? Oh, oh, wala, wala pa. Wala pa ang protest. Po. Request pa lang. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Sa kanilang records na kahang pa, nag-delinquent taxes pa. That's why sabi ko sa kanya, just like yung ginawa ko, sabi ko, by two months from now, mag-auction ako. So, baka maraming bibili dito sa tuwan. Uh, Mama Phil, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we, we cannot discuss that in here, yung mga... <laughs> Kasi nga, this is an active case pa. Uh, It's up for Sir Jimmy to decide whether one. So Sir Jimmy, uh, forgive us. Uh, we cannot hold uh, to our streamers, yung mga live streamers na more than one hour. You know what? Itong mga webinars at saka itong mga format na online, medyo yung yung capacity to hold on to the focus of our uh, viewers is medyo limited. Kaya nga, one hour lang tayo. So nagka-cut off tayo ngayon for part two. Supposedly, Ma'am uh, available for part two or webinar? Webinar na lang. Para, ah, para you, you can discuss. Okay. Oh, oh. Sige. But however, na, nasimulan na natin to. We we have to close this on the second episode, Mama Ophelka. Can we still invite you back on uh, second episode? To, Sabi to... ko sa inyo, mm. maski, maski the whole year, okay lang sa akin yan. Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, ganyan na lang, Adi. We have, to, we have to close this on second episode kasi nga, One hour lang tal talaga tayo. This is not because of us. We 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 really want to 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 linger pa sana but our streamers yung focus nila ang daming ginagawa din nila sa treasurer's office ngayon at treasurer's office. So we cannot hold on sana for more than one hour. So we will close the episode next uh, episode uh, Mama Phil if you are still available but nonetheless we will be having a webinar yung sinasabi mong mga Fa mga cases doon uh, hindi na public viewing yung mga treasurer at assessor lang natin we can say whatever we want yung mga strategies natin kasi itong ta tanong ni Sir Jimmy active case po kasi so in fairness po naman sa NGCP we will hear their side din po sana but this is a public uh, discussion din kasi Mama Phil, we will close this uh, discussion next week o kung okay lang po sa iyo okay lang okay lang and we will give you time also to 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 show your presentation uh, uh, Although, uh, albeit, uh, we will also take note of the time limit na rin, Ma'am Ophel. Uh Oo. -oh. Okay. At this juncture, pasadahan muna natin yung mga pa-shoutouts. Last uh, pa-shoutout sa ating mga comment section. Baka kasi mayroong comment din sila sa, sa mga sinasabi natin dito at sa mga yung idol nila, si Mrs. Oliva. Go ahead, Sid. 
Hello, Torns. Uh, good morning. Very, very interesting topic, Torns. Ako mura gula. Diyo ko nakaihi. Bisan kaihi. Okay, ko kayo naminaw. Diyo ko. Okay. Na I comment there is si Mr. Leonardo Rivera Jr. Ang Ay, Toledo. Ang treasurer from Toledo. But mm-hmm. I believe, Torns, para na lang sa ato ang next episode, Torns. So, mm-hmm. we'll say good morning na lang. Hello kay Mr. June Rivera. So, mm-hmm. we also have Gemma Sumalpong from Bayawan City. Ernesto Rupa. We also have Ma'am Coney Ansaldo, the former city treasurer acting sa Cebu City Torrance and also okay. our former colleague in BLGF who is now in the United States. Oh, okay. Nagpapa siya yung uh, Torrance. So mm-hmm. we also have Mr. Romel Riosa from Ilocos Norte, Ferdinand mm-hmm. Givelido from Cagayan Province, Faye mm-hmm. Fares Mondigo from San Remeo, Gina yon. Josephine Morag- Morados from Bacon Negros Oriental, Milagros Matotis from Santa Fe, Cebu. Miss Brenda Liamedo, Julius Adrian Chin, Sara Mitante, Bingbing Fontanosa, June Fajardo, Alan Suazo, um, Annalisa Buok from Poro, Cebu, Romnick Borja from Oroquita City, Misamis Occidental, mm-hmm. Mamil Andino Oporto from Bugo City, si Ma'am Belen Ormega, hello, good morning, Ma'am, Charlie Daguplu from Shera Bullones, Berna Valmoria mm-hmm. Authentico from Talibon Bohol, Alejandra Misa Silver Cave from Minglanilla, Jeff Bao from Karkar City Assessor's Office, Irene okay. Sencris from Maribuok Assessor's Office, Miss Julita La Peña Marqueta, Jose Jesreel Avergonzado from LGU Aburquerque, and good morning to our almost 150 live viewers this Ay, morning. Ay, dadami pa yan sa replay. Thank you, Torns. Back to you, Torns. Thank you. Okay, for the interest of fairness, fairness i-restate lang po natin kung ano yung dispositive portion ng Supreme Court kasi ang dami po kasi natin. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. Oh, okay. So may request dito yung uh, city treasurer ng Ligao City of Region 5. Sabi niya, yeah. uh, Sir, we would like to join the webinar for this topic. Uh, <laughs> we highly requested Ma'am Opel as, our, as the speaker. Okay. Kami Ma'am Opel. Treasurer of Ligao City. Uh, Ayan, Ma'am Opel. Region 5, Bicol Region. Uh, Do you hear that, uh, Ma'am Opel? Yes. Uh, by the way, towards our executive director is in Bicol right now, uh, visiting mm. uh, the regional office of ah, the LGF. Region 5. Uh, ah. Para mag-monitor yung construction ng... Uh, training center yung, nila doon. Yung mm. training center. Constructed mm-hmm. construction ng training center. By the way, towards, uh, I would like to greet a happy birthday to my good friend, the regional director of Region 5, uh, Director Anastasia Mineta. Mm-hmm. At saka happy birthday... Uh, yung treasurer ng uh, Biga, um, Katondwanes, mm. Sir Dan Yanesa, yung uh, suki natin. Thank you, Torch. Yeah, Mamofil, there is a demand. Eh. Ito eh, entire Philippines. Eh. Mag-webinar dapat, Mamofil, hindi itong kapihan lang. Will you make yourself available, Mamofil? <laughs> yes, alam mo naman, pag na tayo, we're always available. <laughs> Ayan, forgive me, Mamofil. Ha? If I am not available, Regal can take my place. Ayan, pinasubo mo naman yung anak mo, ha? Uh, magta- magdadabog na naman yun. Ano po yung pinasubo ako nito? Hindi man lang ako kinonsult. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Forgive me, Ma'am Ophila, for the interest of fairness sa NGCP na rin. I-re-restate ko lang po paulit-ulit yung, anong, yung dispositive portion. Ayan. Exemptions daw must be clear and unequivocal, unequivocal. So, yun yung sabi ni Ma'am Ophel kay Sir Jimmy, dapat uh, hindi lang direct-direct, so i-exempt mo. So, in that case, sinasabi kasi nila na exempted sila, it's up for the assessor to appreciate whether or not these are in connection with the NGC fees franchise or not. Kasi sabi ng Supreme Court, pag if it is connected with the franchise, eh, it is exempt. Pag properties not used in connection with the franchise, it is taxable in accordance with the local government code. Now, hindi po yan trabaho ni treasurer kung mag kung taxable or connection with the franchise ba yung property na yan. Trabaho yan sa assessment, yung pagkakandak ng field appraisal, yung pag-ocular inspection. Now, pangatlo, kasi magkuklose tayo next week, taxes are not debt. So, whatever payments made by NGCP, hindi na si treasurer yung magre-refund doon. Si NPC na dapat ang sisingilin ni NGCP. Pang-apat, the exemption of NPC is from 1930, 1936. 
nung pagka-take effect na ng local government code, withdraw na po yung exemption kasi nga limited na yung exemption nila. Doon na lang may ibang treatment na sila sa machineries and equipment that are actually direct in PC po to ha, directly and exclusively used by GOCCs in the generation and transmission of electric power. Mayroong special assessment level, special rate sila na 10% of the properties fair market value. So, limang punto po yan ang ini-emphasize ng Supreme Court. We could have done better na paglalahad ng factual uh, case, yung mga factual antecedents sinasabi, sinasabi. Mrs. Oliva could have presented you yung mga prepared presentation niya. But however, that's, that would be threshed out doon sa sinasabi nating webinar type, hindi ganitong banteran type na Ma'am, what if mayroong wala silang legal officer? Ma'am, ma'am, anong gagawin? Hindi ba sila matakot? Kasi we are also discussing the here points of navigation, not necessarily training type. Yung parang, you put yourself in the shoes of the of Mrs. Oliva. Ano yung ginagawa niya? So, we can do the point-by-point point discussion on the webinar that we, Mrs. Oliva will be uh, yung, siya yung resource speaker. At this juncture, we will now uh, solicit the closing at parting message ng ating resource speaker, yung pinaka-expert natin dito sa Region 7. Mrs. Oliva, forgive us for the interest of time. Hindi natin mahold yung mga viewers natin longer than one hour. In the meantime, we will have part two for, a, for the closure of this issue. Uh, we will have now uh, hear from you any message, any message, whatever, Ma'am Ophel. Go ahead, Ma'am Ophel. Okay. For First is I would like to request all treasurers to please deposit with Philippine Veterans Bank. <laughs> Then, and the most important is please do not miss this coming Monday, itong kapihan. Because I will be discussing a lot about na hindi pa ninyo na-discuss. I will be discussing doctrines na related dito. Because in my opinion, in P, uh, NGCP is not exempt. Yan yung kinakatakot ko, Ma'am Ophel eh. Yan yung, 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 yan yung sanang disclaimer na walang kinalalaman yung istasyon specifier lamang. <laughs> Yan, yan yung banter ako ng banter kasi basa, baka lalabas yung passion mo. <laughs> Maski sa franchise nila, hindi, hindi ako maniwala. Ay, in fairness of NGCP naman ha, you are, you are allowed to join our discussion next. Gagawin ba natin to Andy next episode? <laughs> Sabi ni Mrs. Oliva, hindi siya naniwala na exempt sa NGCP. <laughs> Ayan, yan yung kinakatukat. That is what my friend Sir Jimmy, yung, 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 yung ganyang type ni... The passion of Mrs. Oliva would sometimes uh, go outside yung within the bounds of the discussion of the Supreme Court decision. But we understand how Mrs. Oliva is that Sir, passionate about revenue generation. Sir, yes, yes Sir, sir? sir? Yung passion ni Mrs. Oliva, teaser lang natin yun sa kapihan. Kasi papalabasin <laughs> natin yan during the webinar. Ah. May, may labas na natin during... Uh, Uh, kung tayo-tayo lang sana to, Arde, kung tayo-tayo lang sana to, eh, alam natin si Mrs. Oliva. <laughs> Adali ha, next ah. time ba, ito lang request ko, attorney. Ah, ah. Next time, ayusin yung kuan nyo sound system dyan. Oo, oh, medyo na, may crash. Lahat na oh. nagre-reklamo na hindi kuan. Kung hindi marinig. Oo. Oh. Ma mayroong yeah. static yata. Oo, oh. oh, so never mind. Next time, attorney, one hour mm. lang, bibigyan kita ng wifi Oh, ayan, sponsor. Oh, okay. Naawala ko sa iyo. Palagi kayong nawawala. <laughs> uh, Ma'am Ophel, uh, Ma uh, I have to, to call. Alam nyo, right uh, before we start with our program, kasi may production team kami dito, eh, with the permission of Ma'am Ophel, sinasabi ko sa production team, pag si Mrs. Oliva will talk about things na outside sa Supreme Court decision, prepare na kayo sa mute button. Kasi talagang passionate yan si Mrs. Oliva. Sabi ko, pag ako'y nagkahawak na sa aking ilong, i-mute nung minyo na si Mrs. Oliva. Ngayon, hindi nangyari. <laughs> Mama, fill your message, please. <laughs> no, ako is, this was the message of Regal. Before he left uh, the house, papunta na siyang liluan. Sabi niya nga, kana, sabi ko, can I discuss freely? And siya, okay, that's okay. You can discuss what is your merit sa case. In the way, tapos na yan. Pero huwag mong ikuan ang Supreme Court ha, at saka NGCP, just talk about kung ano yung, kung, just be objective, not subjective. So, ganun. Okay. Okay yun si Regal, kay medyo kalma lang yun eh. Pero, pag, ito lang kung ko sa inyo ha, Region 7, maraming na kung sa inyo, na, para bang 
kanang nagugustuhan kayo ba yung ginagawa natin very active man ang region 7 ma'am dito sa amin i will not mention the regions dito sa amin wala man parang natulog man no ganun no sabi ko is ah, yeah pinapalubag mo lang loob namin ma'am Phil no hindi hindi talaga <laughs> I will tell you I will tell you off po ang kung sino uh -oh. nagsabi sa akin so mm -hmm. that's why please improve lang your system yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. at saka yung wifi mo na sabi mo ha hindi yung joke ka Itong microphone mo, attorney, palitan mo yan kay magbakuan yun. Hindi. Palitan. Pag hindi mo ako binilhan, hindi ko to palitan. <laughs> Bilhan mo ako dapat ito, ng ganyan. Ito, ito, ito. It, uh, itong sa akin. Itong eh, akin na lang. Wag, wag, hindi, na, hindi na ako magbili. Akin na lang yan. Puntahan ko yan sa Mandawi next week. <laughs> eh, ito hindi to magkuan. Walang mga mag-bounce ng mga sounds ba? Eh, ito. yung laptop ko rin, Ma'am Ophel, medyo may, may diferensya na rin. <laughs> Parang kayo nagpapalitan. Ah. <laughs> Direktor, okay, go ahead, Manopel. Go ahead, Manopel. Si Atty. Tanyika, hindi lang makapagsabi sa iyo na palitan yung laptop niya, palitan yung microphone. <laughs> Please buy the best microphone. Please buy the best laptop so that you can give the best service. Diba? So, uh, balik ulit doon sa sinasabing ang daming, na ing, uh, ang daming uh, nakaka-admire sa ginagawa natin dito sa Region 7, mga Ophel. Yes. Balik doon, kasi magandang pakinggan. Oh, maganda. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, itong misis ko kay Jimmy, ah, Jimmy, huwag kayong matakot ha. Pag hindi magbayad ang taxpayer, we have the remedies. Nandun sa local government code. Eh, mga Ophel, this is an active case, mga Ophel. Wa wa wag mo munang, do not go outside the NGCP case. Ha? This is an active case po doon sa Carlo P. Garcia. Ano ba yung kaso? Oh, may kaso ka na? Hindi, eh, ba baka naman. Baka naman kasi magpo-protest pa. Mga Ophel, mga Ophel. I will help you, I will help you, Jimmy. Um, Ma'am Ophel, may request dito from Agusa at Provincial Treasury Office of Agusa del Sur. Yes. Okay. Uh, please inform us of the webinar. We are interested <laughs> oh, to join yan. with Ma'am Ophel. Ka na, Ma Ophel okay. So coming from uh, our viewer from Provincial Treasury Office of Agusan del Sol. Ah, ah, hala, hala. Ang dami mo nang na-comment, Ma'am Ophel, ha? So hindi, <laughs> hindi lang, hindi Man, lang. Ako, as long as I'm alive. Ah, now go ahead with your closing message for this episode, Ma'am Ophel. Go ahead, go ahead. Na-interrupt na, na, ano ka. Ano-ano? Closing message mo sa episode na ito. Uh, yun ang closing message ko nga mm -hmm. mahal na mahal ko kayong lahat <laughs> treasurers the BLGF family so that's why in case you need my services huwag kayong magkaan ng bayad hindi na ako na kailangan ang bayad no so yun lang nga I am ready I am willing to render service for free so why don't you tap me because I have I have a good lawyer in the person of Oh. Yan, na, yan, na, yan ka na naman Sobo mo naman si Atty. Oh. Rigal oh. Ganon siya, ganon Because oh. I'm proud of him That oh, okay, is the only okay. way Na parang oh. nakakuan ako sa gratitude Na binigay sa Panginoon sa akin ba? Nga, I am proud ah, of my son yes. na Talagang very kanang knowledgeable mm -hmm. no, I would like to correct Atty. He's no longer the president of IPB But he's the deputy governor of Eastern Visayas sa IBP. Ah, mas malaki so, pang hindi naman, Sino naman hindi ma-proud, di ba? Mm -hmm. Director, the only treasurer na during the turnover nandun ang director. Oh. <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh. When you hire, when you get attorney Oliva as your treasurer, dalawang gi-hire ninyo. Oh, oh, walang pa. bayad ang isa. Treasurer pa, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, diba? I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Cortez din, Ma'am Ophel, sa for allowing Atty. Regal Oliva na mag-service doon, doon sa Riloan, Ma'am Ophel. Oh, walang problema si Mayor. Mayor is willing to help rin. Hmm. Parang, parang mayroon siyang parabang uh, uh, big brother and small brother ko ang bang ah. ganun si, si Mayor. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Oliva. Uh, in the next episode, disclaimer lang, as early as now, hindi po namin kasi ma-mute si Mrs. Oliva doon sa episode na yon kasi kanya na yon. Disclaimer lang, uh, that uh, Mrs. Oliva will be as passionate as ever. Uh, yung parang tipong uh, talagang inside of the, uh, in the side of Wilgio. For this instance, we, we attempt, uh, personally, I attempted to banter with Mrs. Oliva within the bounds of the Supreme Court decision. Pero parang may clamor yata yung sa ating mga viewers. Let her talk about what her passion is. So we will have that in the next episode, Mama Ophel. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again for the next episode, Mama Ophel. Yan. 
Thank you, boss. And bye-bye, boss. <laughs> Taking toys. Photo up. Ah. Mag-closing pa mo si, si, si Adib kanina. Hindi pa tayo tapos kasi mag-closing pa si Adib. <laughs> Ayan. So, eh, eh, now, uh, on our side, pasensya po kasi. Kasi, you know, this is a Supreme Court case. We cannot go outside the discussion of the Supreme Court. I myself is preparing also. I'm preparing also a PowerPoint slide na talagang yung digest of the case, facts, facts, decision, issues, and so on and so forth. But then again, we'd like the interest doon sa navigating points po sana. Yung sabi kasi ni Sir Jimmy, uh, gusto po namin malaman kung ano yung NGCB. But, we, you know, we advertise this as a navigating points, not only the discussion on NGCB case. However, we'd like to stake to whatever the NGCB case is saying. We are also offering to you yung points of navigation. Ano yung gagawin ko pag si treasurer ako, nasendan ako ng ganito, ganyan. So, yung mga human interest pa, the side of the case. So, forgive us for interrupting sometimes, Mrs. Oliva, kasi we try our best as possible to stick to what is said by the Supreme Court case. But however, we know also the passion, the needed passion for you, local treasurers, na dapat ganito yung asta natin, parang si Mrs. Oliva tayo, when we are confronted with this uh, mga ganitong situation. Kaya nga, ang aming advertisement sa episode nito is navigation points, hindi necessarily webinar type. So, for that, ladies and gentlemen, balikan po natin ang ating regional director. Salamat sa kanyang support. Uh, napakumit natin si Mrs. Oliva for a webinar. Ang daming demand na from the field, hindi lang dito sa Central Visayas. Napakumit din natin si Mrs. Oliva for a second episode. Salamat po sa aming regional director for ever supporting us. For, her, for his closing message, balikan po natin si regional director, Director Jesse Joy Joy Doctorero. Thank you, Adi, for this uh, support, Adi. Thank you, Torch. Uh, so again, uh, in behalf of uh, DLGF7, we would like to extend our gratitude to our resource speaker. Okay, so he's uh, very, very passionate in terms of treasury and mga legal services pa. Okay, mm-hmm. so for today's episode, we have learned a lot, not just on the navigation, on the treasury aspect, but of course, yung content strategy. Okay, so we learned today that uh, we can, we need, uh, there are topics that uh, a precise content that is useful. Okay, uh, will be applicable. So in this case, na, 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 nakita namin ng mga ng production team na uh, may mga topics pala na uh, mas uh, effective if uh, it will be uh, another strategy will be applied. So in, in any way, uh, parang uh, ano lang ito, teaser, teaser for a webinar with Ma'am uh, Opel Oliva. Okay, so the, the, the production team will uh, come out later on with uh, the webinar. Of course, we will have the webinar approved by our executive director uh, para uh, we can invite as many as uh, treasurers as we can. So uh, thank you, Sir Jimmy, for initiating the question. Had uh, it not been your question, we cannot invite or we cannot, uh, we don't have idea on what is uh, NGCP or when can we ask Ms. Oliva once more to, yeah. to be back on the Kapihan. So thank mm-hmm. you to, to our Bohol Treasurers and Assessors, uh, Negros Oriental, uh, Sikihor and Cebu. Uh, please uh, join all, uh, always our Kapihan because this is our venue of reaching you out. Okay? So I know, we know how it feels to be alone, especially at this time of pandemic. But rest assured that you have your family, uh, your BLGF7 family. Thank you so much and God bless everyone. Production team, sa photo opportunity po natin, picture before mag sila. Okay? You go ahead with the photo opportunity in, uh, uh, na lang production team. In behalf of the regional director, Director JC Joy Joy Dr. Lero, the whole staff of Region 7, yung aming treasury chief, si Ms. John Nanabilia, yung admin chief, si... Miss uh, Jane Mabendan, yung aming legal officer, si Miss Sid Caballero, ako host ko yun. Sa aming uh, pinaka-passionate po at saka willing pong mag-help always one time, one call lang yan. Nandyan si Mrs. Ophelia M. Oliva, sa kanyang anak, si Atty. Regal M. Oliva. Ito po ang inyong host na hanggang next week ay maghihintay po sa sinasabing wa- packet wifi na ibibigay sa akin ni Mrs. Oliva. At saka sa microphone na yan next week na andito na yan sa aking misa. Attorney Wilbert P. Tanika saying bye-bye. Okay. Photo up na, Florence. Are they? Okay. Photo up. One, two, three.
Next.